Welcome everyone to the Friday Night All Fandom Trivia Showdown! Oh no, wait, can they not see us? Oh dearest! Gasp. Gasp! Hang on, hang on, oh, no. hang on! Oh, whoops. Oh, that's Whoa. a weird view! <laughs> that's gonna be hey! a we are. Hey guys, oh, it wouldn't so be a better. live stream without technical difficulties. Hello and welcome everyone to the Friday Night Trivia Showdown. But this time it's not between me and Ben, it's between all of you. Yes, and each other. And each other, yes. And notably not us. Notably not us. We get to sit this one out. We, we get do. to We get to we just have a nice have casual, we're just going to sit in the chair in our fun jackets. That's right. Oh, it's gonna be great. Are you adjusting us? I'm adjusting. Uh, oh, yeah. Which way? It's like the oh, beginning of a jam versus Ben all over there again. There it is. Okay, we're not. That made better. me feel like I, I was like in competition mode. That you were like needing like, to straighten wait a the table. Wait the table. It's you like, want it to look good. Well, well, it's, it's you okay. Know, I feel like I overcorrected. A little, little bit correct. Hey, 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 oh, shout out to Sippy M for being a member for 17 months. 17 months. Goodness Whoa. me, Sippy M. Sippy M, crushing it. Crushing it indeed. Okay, guys. So we have a fun fantastic uh, rundown for you this evening. We're going to be having two different uh, trivia showdowns. Two showdowns. So if you miss out on the first one, no need to fret. You can join the second one. Exactly. And we yes. will start this. We will give you the code for the second game during the first game, which usually allows everybody who wants to get into the second game yeah. in. Uh, it looks like it looks like we should be good right now. If, yeah. if everybody watching wanted to join, we should have it enough should, room. Shouldn't be a problem, unless unless multiple people are sitting in a room in many situations. Ah, yes, like indeed. That. Like many viewing parties, yes. as it were. Lots yes. of view. I can only imagine that of all the uh, all, every viewer out there is watching with a friend right. in the room, at least one. Um, if that's the case, well, either way, uh, whilst we wait, what we're gonna suggest that you do is one. Uh, if you're going to be playing along on your phone, make, just go into the App Store right now and make sure your Kahoot app is completely up to date. Yes. Just hit update on it. Let it start going right now. You should be uh, more than enough time. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have Kahoot, download Kahoot now. You won't have to like set up an account or anything. All you need is the app on your phone. Yeah, you can actually also just do it from your browser if that's easier yes. for you. You don't have to do it through through the app. Yeah, separate window. So, any which way, that should be good. Uh, in other news, we also have a couple of very fun announcements this evening. A couple of new uh, Super Carlin Brothers products oh, yeah. that we get to showcase for you guys that we are just so stoked about. They're, it, they're, uh, the one of them is so... I mean, they're both cool, but the they're, one of them is, like, so cool. <laughs> it's, it's, like, so cool. Yeah. Um, which I think we can probably... I mean, you know, if, if you guys are down for it, we could show you, right? Why? Well, I, I suppose so. Do we want to... Let's see, I feel like people are trickling in. Okay. Maybe we'll show the... Yeah, we'll just do it, and then we can we can show it again later. Okay, okay. That Let's sounds good. Are you ready? All right, so everybody, everybody just hold on to your butts. Yeah. Here's the next product from Carlin Brothers Coffee, and... The puzzle! The puzzle! The Super Carlin Brothers 1000 piece ultimate uh, trivia night extravaganza puzzle day. Let me use that name. I didn't I didn't think there I didn't Trivia Night Extravaganza. Yeah, yeah. Tri trivia yeah. Night you extravaganza. chose that name, master yeah. name or chooses the name. Yes, yes indeed. As it were. Look, it's like this is very trippy seeing it on the set because it's us. On it, the yeah, set. it's us on the set. It's very, it's very, very like, meta. Weird. Um so actually, yes. So we spent we spent uh, several hours this week. I think it took us like about four hours with maybe at least on average three people working on it. Yes. Uh, to put it together, this is going to be available over at CarlinBrothersCoffee.com if you would like to go and check it out. There is a limited supply of these. Yeah. Um. So if you think you are interested in it or maybe like slightly on the fence, uh, I would recommend maybe uh, buying. Sooner rather than later, if you are interested. Um, yeah, so again, those are available over at Carlin Brothers Coffee. Right now. Com. We, well, actually, I can show it to you. Can I, oh, like, can, yeah. I, can I get it? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. By all means. We, we, ha we managed to complete one. 
We can show you the finished product. Are you ready? Boom. Boom. There it is. Oh, man. It looks just like so, us. N dude, it was like, I didn't realize ahead of time just looking at the art, but the way the artist did all the stuff, it makes for like a very good puzzle because like you have all these little green mallard stickers that show up in the pieces, but you don't know exactly where they go. Oh, yeah. Like, this scarf was in particularly kind of difficult to do. Uh, lots of ducks and popcorn everywhere. So... I don't yes. know. If you like puzzles, even if you don't, I found it was just a lot of fun. And just going, like, discovering all the Easter eggs, because it is cram-packed with Super Carl oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, and that's the thing, too, is, like, as you're going through and putting each, each like, piece together, you're sort of <clears> like, <throat> oh, my gosh, that's Swagrid. That's Swagrid. There's Swagrid on the puzzle. And he's got the glasses. So, if, if you guys were uh, a part of SEB Spirit Week this past year, uh, the artwork was actually done by a member of the SEB community. Uh, her name is Ariel, and we were so excited. Like, she just literally uh, was up one night sketching, and she had given us, like, a black and white pencil version of it. And we were like, I need to do something we want that. With, with that. And so, happily, uh, she was on board, which was very exciting for us. Um, yeah, so it's, it's really neat. It's a thousand pieces. It takes, it takes a minute. Um, you know, depending on how many people you have. We had like five people working on it. We did it in like four hours. Yeah. No yeah. problem. No problem. No problem, no problem at all. Whatever. Uh, yeah, again, carlinbrotherscoffee.com. Available right now. Limited quantities. Yes. Available. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we've got that. We have another. Oh, we have, oh, sorry. sorry. This is also, that's also what we're playing for tonight. Oh, yes. This, this is the grand prize. This is the grand prize. Well, you'll get this. And the other item. And the other that item. That we're about we can, to show yes, you. Yes, we can do yeah. that as well. We don't have, like, a cool... We don't have, like, a cool um, sizzle reel for it. Right, right. Uh, Ethan, the editor, if you're a fan of the pop, uh, worked with Riley, the editor, if you're a fan of the Nuzlocks and the other SCB and, you know, products. the main show. <laughs> um, uh, Riley and Ethan, like, I think had just a freaking blast going and putting that whole thing together, so... Yeah. Um, very, very cool. Uh, let's see. Do you want to show the other thing real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Are you ready? Are you... Okay. I'm just... Yeah. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Look at you go. Get With a the nice hoops, reveal. the moves. Ready. And boom, boom. Flourish. Flourish. Bam. So, I don't know if you can tell from where you're sitting. This is uh just our just the newest uh Carlin Brothers candle. It is common room scented. Yes, it is. For fall. It's nice and nice and huga. It smells scented. it I smells just like a lion themed common room. Just yeah, whatever you think a lion themed common room would sound like smell like. And the other thing, if you'd like to collect the charms inside of them, there is um, the only way to get the common room themed charm mm. is inside of this particular candle. Yeah, if you're collecting the charms. Exclusive charm inside. Yes, so exactly. That's cool. Yep. So, again, also available over at Carl carlinbrotherscoffee.com. If you'd yep. like to go and check those out, and as yeah, as a final reminder, those are going to be the prizes. Uh, the winner of both rounds tonight will get both the puzzle and the candle, and then uh, second through fifth place will just get uh, one of their choosing. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I think we forgot to say that in the last trivia stream. If you come in second through fifth, you also get a prize. And... Uh, Tonight, said prize will be either candle or a puzzle. Yes. Whichever you choose. But you, uh, if you are one of those people, make sure you screenshot your placement after the quiz is over. And uh, there is an email in the description uh, where you can email Jordan and she prove will, to her that you won. And then she will collect your information and mail you a prize. Exactly. Man, yeah. It smells good in here now. It, it smells does. darn it does. good. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and give you the code for the first round. If you've got your Kahoot app or browser right. or window or Get whatever your you're playing ready. on, your, your old stone tablet. Well, you probably can't play on that. I mean, you can chisel along at home. And I, I encourage you I, to do that well, exact yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, pin for round one. I'm talking slowly to give you time to open your devices. Here we go. It's going to be 8194063. Again, that's going to be 8194063 for the first round. Um, and let's see if you guys start getting in. Let us let us know if you got in. The last number is 3. 3? Yeah. Did I not did I not enunciate? You well you said 8194063 for the first round but you, you so i see what i did there yeah it was, it was unintentional very unintentional okay yay everybody's getting in everyone's in you'll love to see it you'll love to see it oh man 
Got it. Got it. Goodness gracious, though. While oh, we're, boy. While, yeah, there we go. It's catching up now. While we're waiting on everybody to get in, uh, how did you guys feel about... Secrets of Dumbledore. Oh, because we, the I mean, title reveal. This was this was like a big week. It was like I, and I, I honestly, I think that I have underestimated just how much Marvel and Star Wars have been giving us lately because <laughs> because it's like been four years since yeah, we've had since we had new Harry Potter stuff. Right. Yeah. Since yeah. this is the, the last time we were told something new about the Wizarding World. So, I know. Uh, it's been ex- it was it what it was like oh oh man. What a feeling! All we got was a title. It was such, yeah. It doesn't matter though. Oh no. Title, title gives us plenty to work with. Plenty to work with. And guys. I, look, I try not to be overconfident with anything ever, but there is something about the theories that we've had this week that I feel darn good about. I saw Luke Lovegood in there. Oh. And that's all hot lips. I got narwhals are cool. Hi Ben. Hey. 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 Friend. How Irish are Badger. J Rock. Miss oh. Marie. Uh, code again in case you guys are just now arriving is going to be eight one nine four zero six three. That is in the Kahoot app, K A H O O T. Make sure you have the most up to date version to limit the number of potential glitches. They have real, they have improved it a lot since we started doing these. I feel like I feel like it's because of you guys that Kahoot was like, "Darn y'all, we need to up our game." Like we I- thought this was just for classrooms, and instead, no. It is where the world's greatest trivia challenges take place. World's greatest? Yeah, world's greatest. That's right. Oh, man, we should get a sign. We should, it says, like, what? world's greatest. <laughs> world's greatest. Can you believe it? <laughs> We're allowed to print anything we want. <laughs> yeah, they just let you put words on a sign. <laughs> Whatever you want. You just send it to the printer and it comes back. Done. <sighs> take it's, that. That's very good. It's very good. Actually, I've been having a blast decorating the nursery. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that I'm, is fun. I'm normally not one to, like, buy posters and such or, like, frameables. And I've been buying a whole bunch of posters and frameables. Posters lately. and frameables. Posters and frameables. Are they all up on the wall? Uh, they're getting there. They're getting, they're getting there. there. I I have like different size things, and it just so happened to be the case that all the posters of the wrong size arrived uh, with the wrong sized frames. Oh, so buzz. it's like I've got like a whole bunch of pieces, but none of the the none of the ones that go together. Mm. Um, Lightning ska. Yeah. What was that, Draco Malfoy? Whoa, Whoa. Brad, Brad Baugh. Brad Baugh. With the super chat. You guys got me in trouble with a friend. You got me hooked on Name of the Wind. So I had him read them. While he liked your theories, he is upset that he has to wait for the third book. Oh, that's not our. That's not us getting you in trouble. That's Patrick Rothfuss. <laughs> it is Patrick trouble. Rothfuss. Don't put that on us, Brad. If you want to hear my extremely, extremely meta theory about this, it's that I think that Patrick Rothfuss, author of Name of the Wind, he released the first book right around the same time that the Game of Thrones TV series was starting. And I think that he saw the tremendous amount of hype around that, yeah. especially because it was a story that was being told while it was still unfinished. Yeah. And because The Name of the Wind is a story about stories and the way that stories can like affect perception yeah. of things, I am genuinely convinced that what he is doing is waiting for there to be enough popularity of the series to create a TV show so that you can literally be on the edge of your seat as it's, that third season comes out. Because it's if you the know exact how, trick Chronicler is using on Quoth and that Quoth uses on Felorian. He's holding this he's holding, he's holding story, story hostage. hostage. Yeah. And I think that Patrick Rothfuss is bold enough to do it. Uh, like I, I, yeah. I, I think he is like reading us. So anyway, the anyway. point is the more of you that read Name of the Wind the greater the likelihood that we'll get the show and that Jay and I will get to be executive producers of it. That'd be just the biggest dream come true. <laughs> Quite literally. Or the founder series. I could <gasps> do that too. Yeah. You know. I, I, I would be fine for I'd either. I'd be fine with either. You know. I Give got... me a call, Warner Brothers. Yes. I have ideas. Lots. Lots of ideas. Lots of ideas. Yeah. One day they'll hear us. One day. Yeah. You know. One day. Or another. Okay, guys. We're going to give you just... <laughs> Someone's name is Loading. Uh, That is a hilarious name. All right, Loading, I'm officially pulling for you. Um, I am going to give you guys another minute to sign up. I'm going to give you the pin one last time. It's going to be 8194063. Let's see here. We got a super chat from Jessica Berger who says, Thanks to you guys. I won a local HP trivia event with the How Many Stairs Does Hogwarts Have? 142. It's 
It's easy to remember because it's less than 143. One Why is it? What What is 143 memorable? So 143 is like the like numeric code that when I was in elementary school, people would use for I love you. Oh. Because it's, it's 143. So like I, one, love, four, you, three. Does that make sense? Like the, the number of letters in each one? I, four, three. Oh, okay. One, I got you. One, four, three. One, four, three. three yeah. Love. Oh. Man, I was never privy to that. But so it's so funny though because every time we get this question, I think it's 143, but it's actually 142. Mm -hmm. So okay. Yep, yep, yep. There's that. Um, Quist McGrath with a five dollar super chat says, "Have you guys ever looked into the Stormlight books, uh, Dalinar? Anyone? Uh, we. It is next on the list it of things next. to read. Although, let me just recommend to everyone that you read the book Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir." Yeah. I just finished it, and it's so good. And, yeah, my wife just finished it, and I need more people to talk to about it. Is there it was, space physics? Uh, absolutely there's space physics. There's always space physics yeah. with Andy Weir. Yeah. Uh, Bailey Stone with a $5 super chat says, Good morning from down under. Just listen to your newest episode of The Pop. Pop, pop, Team Jazzy J. Yeah, Team Jazzy J, pop, pop. How about that? How about that? All what right. What are we going to do? Let's give, it, let's give it a countdown okay. until we lock it out. Okay, okay, okay. You guys ready? All we're right. gonna we're gonna lock it. In, In five, four, three, two, one, boom. Why was uh, the last person in? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so let's see if we can do this, and then we'll switch over to <coughs> here, and now everybody can see that. And we can move ourselves farther in the corner oh, yes. so we don't block anything. That's my newest hit single. Yeah. Can you guys still hear us? Okay, good, good, good. Yes, they can still hear good, us. Good, 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 good. Okay. Hermione Who's excited? Harry. I'm excited. Dude, all right, so if you're unfamiliar, so this is, um, if you're unfamiliar with the format, we, there will be six questions per fandom? Five. Five questions per fandom. Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Marvel, Avatar. Yeah. yeah. And no bonus name of the win questions. No bonus name of the win questions. Five per fandom for a total of 30 questions per round. Each question will have a 30 second timer on it. Exactly. Okay. Are we ready? I think so. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Kahoot! At work. Multi fandom trivia. I think it's a we'll, really good we'll, title. Yeah, I know. I yeah. know. I know. All right. We're starting with the Disney questions. Oh, Kicking video is frozen. Up. What? Hang on. Your uh, camera's frozen. Um, in OBS, just click off of it and click back on it. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't think so. Why are Hold we on. frozen? Are we still frozen? Oh no. oh no! Hang on guys, hang on. We won't start yet. Let's see here. Um, we do, we're gonna make it look we're weird for look a second. Weird. Hey, hey, there, hey, there, there's there us. There's our ceiling. And we're, oh, we're back. We're back, are we moving again? I think, yes, we did it. We fixed the thing. Huh, someone said Frozen because it's Disney. Yes, yes, we were absolutely go. leaning into that. That is exactly what happened You're here. right, we're just on brand. We go to Disney, we Frozen. Someone said, Elsa got you guys. It doesn't, doesn't feel like this. Okay. We're in, we're starting, and now. Question one. Which of the following characters makes a surprise appearance in Disney's Hercules? Is it Jafar, Scar, Ursula, or Clayton. Ooh. Man, people are lightning fast. They got with it. With the answers. We used to give you guys a full minute to answer, but who needs a full minute? No need. When you guys, I mean, I would be willing to bet that that 80% of people get this right. Yeah. Yeah. If not yeah. more. I think I, I have all of the faith in so the just, world. And some people will be concerned that the chat is giving away the answers. Do not trust the chat. The chat lies all the time. Chat lies all the time. Or they might not think they're lying. They're just confident in the wrong answer. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So don't worry. Okay. Also, if you're, if you're taking time to read the chat to get the answer, you've already lost that many points. It's true. It's yeah. true. Anyway, the correct answer was Scar. He appears as a rug. As a rug. Okay, let's see. We got Martha. Martha. Wait, your na your mom's name was Martha. What is that from? Batman vs Superman. Oh. Alex L, Mary Poppins, Winter Soldier, and Addison. Hey. How about that? Okay, on to question 
three. Question. <laughs> Frozen was the first Walt Disney Animation Studios animated film to win an Oscar since what movie? Was it Pocahontas, Lion King, Tarzan, or Aladdin? Mm-hmm. These are all such good movies. Oh, I got Elvish Presley in the chat, as ever, with Ben for Quoth. Ben for Quoth. Always has in my back. Mm -hmm. Alice told me that that she would ha that she would fully support me in if a scenario where I was tapped to play to play Quoth to play young Quoth. Yeah, yeah. You gotta. I think you're gonna have to start. If you, I think if you start learning some loot, that's really gonna give you an edge. It, it might. It might. Okay. Wow. Wow. Whoa, you guys <laughs> knew that more than Scar. <laughs> that is very that impressive. That was impressive. Tarzan was, of course, the correct answer. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, Mayonnaise. Let's move on. What happened is uh, Pixar showed up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we got David Cannon, Stefonda, Stif Coat. Hey, I get hey, it. Hey, Coat. Harry the Plotter. That's <laughs> also pretty good. Nick Jan. Nick Jan, all right. All moving right. on. Well, what is Frank's nickname for Lily in Jungle Cruise? Is it Boots, Pants, Blondie, or Shades? They all feel like things but, I could kind of hear the rock say. Yeah, can't you just say it? Yeah. 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 This is this is basically a gimme if you've seen Jungle Cruise. <laughs> As with any trivia yeah, ever, if I you know. know the answer, it's, it's real so obvious. obvious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Let's see here. Did, did you did you saw Jungle Cruise? Yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. did you like it? I thought that it was good. I thought that it was properly wacky. Um <laughs> The nickname is Pants. Pants. It's because she's a woman wearing pants. Yes, which yeah. doesn't feel like it should be shocking. But. Yeah, I know. It's like they're really, they're really pushing that joke. Is like I don't, whatever. Yeah. Um, it's 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 like one of those things where it's really hard to understand a world where this just isn't like you're right, completely common. <laughs> I know. And he keeps calling her Pants, and it's a funny nickname. Yeah. I thought, there you go. Yeah, I thought Jungle Cruise was very good at being what it was trying to be, which I think was very silly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, if, if you go in with that mindset, it's perfectly enjoyable. Uh, Harry the Plotter moving up along with Nick Jan, Lorax, and Bubbles! Bubbles! Which Bubbles? Is this the the Bubs? It could be. Could be. Which of the following Disney couples has the widest age gap? Is it Rapunzel and Eugene, Ariel and Prince Eric, Cinderella and Prince Charming, or Mulan and Shang? <laughs> It's a hard question. It's a hard question. It's a hard question. And as ever, uh, direct any <coughs> complaints towards Kat, our new administrative assistant here in the office. Slash trivia. Aficionado. Aficionado. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This one's going to be... I bet this is all guesses. Someone said Wally and Eve. Yeah, look at this. It's almost perfectly 25 across, except... I guess a few less people seem to think it was Cinderella and Prince Charming. It's Rapunzel and Eugene. There we go. Okay, okay. How'd right, you guys how did do? That? Oh, oh, big Kathy Star. I like and, Kathy Star. And Mer Girl and Emma Weasley. That's sort of like the combination of Emma Watson marries into the Weasley family. It seems likely. Right? Yeah, it's possible. It. Possible, yeah. although I am still team Hermione. Hermione, absolutely. El Jubo and David Cannon. David Cannon, who was formerly in first place, yes, I believe. I think. Yeah, so still on the board, still yeah. on the board. You just got to have some snappier fingers. That's all, David Cannon. We see you out there. Okay. Which Disney sidekick does Maui turn into when trying to use his fish hook? Is it Raja, Sven, Maximus, or Pegasus? Ha ha. Oh, yeah, this is a blink and you miss it. It's, it's real, real quick. Yeah. Real quick. This real is like fast. one of those where it's like, how much are Easter eggs canon? I mean... It happens. It ha yeah. In the movie. Right. I don't yeah. see why, why would me, not be? Universes, these, the universes are connected. The Disneyverse. Yeah, the Disneyverse. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. I don't see why it wouldn't be. <laughs> Laura says, let Hermione go. And Never. Look, I, I'm not that passionate about this. It's just, it's it's hard to find a strong opinion about something that, like, you know, it's just sort of like, yeah, that, that, like, that, like I can just commit to. You it's like, commit. this is Look, like my Harry Potter strong opinion. When, when you live in the world of fandoms, you have to have a strong ship. Yeah, you have to. You ha it's like, Otherwise, how will you enough, sail the high seas? Exactly. And this is the ship. Yeah. Hermione. Do you get it? Because ships Yeah, 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 yeah I get it. Yeah. A veritable friendship, if you will. <laughs> a veritable friendship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how we do it. Emma Weasley! She's a fan of Hair. Obviously, not a fan of Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yep, yep. Uh, oh, we got Ambrose. Ambrose. Oh, oh everyone hates Ambrose. Ambrose. That guy's oh, the worst. Oh man. 
The Malfoy of Name of the Wind and Tor! Uh, someone says, would you get a pet goat? I would get a pet goat. I'm, just yeah, for... given, the, given the proper amount of land, I would have a goat. I don't yeah, see anything yeah, against yeah. it. Okay. You All know, right, and we're on to the Pixar section of the we quiz. We have made it through the Disney section. Okay. Get your thumbs ready, people. Question eight. What is the name of Dot's scout group in A Bug's Life? Is it the Dingleberries, the Strawberries, the Blueberries, or the Raspberries? Mm -hmm. I almost laughed. It's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> I know it. it's a rock! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, ben for Aberforth? Oh, it says Ben equals Aberforth. Okay. It means that, well, how many, uh, technically, we are, we're maybe now in camp. Dumbledore does, in fact, have two brothers. Are, no. Well, sort of. Sort had, of. Had. Had two brothers. Not presently has. Yeah. Had. <laughs> didn't even maybe know about. The blueberries is the correct answer. That is correct. Well, well done. done, everybody. Well At least done. most of you got it. Indeed. How do we, how does it affect the leaderboard? Mmm, Clem Jowda. Wow, it seems like Ambrose hasn't been reading... They're not reading. Watching enough Pixar movies. Classic Ambrose. Classic He's just too Ambrose. busy writing poetry. You know it. All right, guys. Playing liar. Which Pixar movie was turned into a musical started by TikTok? Was it Ratatouille, Coco, Toy Story, or The Incredibles? Man, recently we got to go down to Disney to get a sneak, uh, a squeak peek, squeak as peek. it were, yeah. at the new Ratatouille ride. It's real adorable. It was so. It was good. It was yeah. It's very fun. If you get a chance to go do it, uh, go. And if you can go to Disney. And you feel safe about it? I would go now because there are just no lines. And yeah, it is awesome. We walked onto literally every single ride. Yeah. It, was, it was incredible. Very fun. Uh, a couple of people asking if they can still join. We will have a second quiz that this will. evening that we'll be giving the uh, the code for at about question twenty five of this quiz. Yes. Uh, Ratatouille, you guys had that in spads. Ratatouzical the musical. Let's see how we did. Here we got Emma Weasley, Scuffy, Unknown Platypus, Riona, and the Snowman. You know who we got to keep an eye out for, Ben? Denise. Denise. You know she's out there. You know she's you out know there. It. She's you lurking. Just you guys wait. This is how Denise plays trivia. She's like, she's, she's got a slow start, but gets consistent correct answers. You wait, like question 15, 16, boom. She, yeah, Denise she's, Shark. She's a glacier. Slowly carving a path deeply through valleys. Deep. Hard yeah. to move. Well, I guess not through valleys. Forming valleys we'll as see. glaciers work. Okay. Question 10. Who is the dean of the school of scaring in Monsters University? Is it Dean Hardopoly, Dean Hardtrouble, Dean Hardboggle, or Dean Hardscrabble? Let me see what I did with the answers here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty, it's pretty clever. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of you. <laughs> board games, people. They're, they're board all, games. They're all board games. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Yeah, every, people know Denise at this point. She's, Denise She's has a, local a, celeb. a cheering section. Yeah, right? Also saw some shout-outs for White Squirrel. Oh, White Squirrel. Known heavy hitter. Right. It's Dean Hardscrabble. Good at scaring and word games. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Zoe! Hey! Welcome to the top five. We knew you were coming. Question 11. Which of the following Pixar movies does not contain bloopers at the end? Is it The Incredibles, Monsters, Inc., Cars, or Toy Story 2? Hmm. Are you doing a, a, a deep contemplation? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember as a kid, bloopers, especially in Jackie Chan movies... Oh, like yeah. were like my absolute favorite. Oh, like all the failed stunts. Yes. Yeah, because yes. he does them all himself. Or like they would like start laughing in the middle of a skit or something. It was just like I. It made me so happy that they were including the actors messing up. Yeah. I don't know why. The correct answer is cars. Yeah. But people people did not know that one, so I bet, we're, I bet we're gonna see a shake up. Uh oh. Whoa! Liz Vader, Ken will be here, Sarah. Here, Sarah. Zo Zoe moving up, but Emma Weasley holding strong. Only one up there in the in the eight thousands. Eight thousands thus far. Question twelve. What, what was the first Pixar film directed by Pete Doctor? Was it Soul, Up, Inside Out, or Monsters Inc.? Mm. This is this is sort of a. Uh, how well do you know the order? Yeah. How long have you been alive, basically? Because. Uh, I'll, for, with 10 seconds left, I'll give you this clue. He directed all of them. <laughs> That's that, that is fair. <clears throat> Let's see. Monsters, Inc. 
Monsters Inc. It was Inc. the very first one directed by Pete Doctor. Yep. One of my faves, still to this day. Although, all the Pete Doctor movies are have always sat tops on my oh, charts. Oh, absolutely. I mean, probably just my favorite director, I think, in yes. general. Yes, Not uh, just animated, just in all, across. Hard, hard stop. All. Uh, we got Emma Weasley still at the top, Scuffy, David Cannon, uh, Gallade, and The Snowman. Gallade? Got a Pokemon out there. That's crazy. Let's see... No okay. Avatar. Okay, we're moving into the Star Wars round. If history shows us anything, this one can sometimes be a little tripsy. Be a little tripsy indeed. Let's see how we do. Question number 14. In A New Hope, what docking bay is Mos Eisley? Was the Millennium Falcon docked? I think I said that poorly. 42, 94, 107, or 29? Hmm. This is, I feel like, one that a lot of Star Wars fans do know, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like a detail that, like, stands out. Especially anything... Like, any of the numbers from the first three movies, the original trilogy, yeah. I feel like have sort of become fairly I I iconic or otherwise used for other reasons. I agree. They kind of so, have. Let's see. How are people going to do? Yeah, where, where are you guys at right now? Who's, who's in the top 100? Let us know. Docking Bay 94 is the correct answer. Ooh, Bandman 182. Oh, oh, loading! No way! Loading is in the top five. What? Well done. And Coach Geo. What's Coach up? Coach Geo. Well. I'm assuming that Coach Geo is the gentleman who who uh, guided me in my first aquarium internship. Oh, yeah? Yeah. His name was Geo. Oh. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. Yeah. So All I right. see you, Geo. Man, look at Emma Weasley, though, up there. Not just the first one to 10, but the, also the first one to 9,000. Wow. Man. The one, rushing be, it. the one to be. All right. Who's surprised? According to young Anakin, where do angels come from? Is it the Book of Telu, the Clouds of Bespin, the Moons of Aego, or White Holes? Huh. I see. I one of these is a fun Name of the Wind reference. It is. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You know. See, Gotta, even though we can't, there's no Name of the Wind questions tonight, but... If you'd read it, you could rule out one of these answers. I would be curious, if we were to do Name of the Wind trivia, how I would fare. Oh, right. Like, do you? how good are you at Name of the Wind trivia? I think there's a small chance that I'd be better at Name of the Wind trivia than any other trivia. I see. I think. It is the Moons of Aego. That is, that is true. That is correct. That's what he tells young Padme. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right. We got Emma Weasley at the top. Gallade loading. Hubble Space and Scuffy. Hubble Space. Who I keep wanting I keep wanting to call Scruffy. Tuck in your shot, Scruffy. Who says that? The mirror. Yeah. In Harry Potter. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Question 16. What is Boba Fett's home <coughs> world? Is it Naboo, Camino, Navarro, or Mandalore? Be careful. Oh. It's tricky. It is a little or is it? Well, I mean, depending on, yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, if you, of course, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I mean, but have you care. seen episode two recently? <laughs> yeah, right. Do, or do the you, Bad Batch. Yes. One of my dogs is called <clears throat> Scruffy. That's from Scruffy. Emily Cheatham. Oh, yeah, Emily Cheatham. Always in the Nuzlocks. Always in the chat. Someone said two question streak and I know nothing about Star Wars. Booyah! Super proud of That's you. Question. It's Camino. It is. Mandalore could be the one that could that could trip you up possibly. Yeah. But yeah. But in fact, he was simply a clone of Django on Camino, making Camino his uh, his home world. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Looks like we got the same folks in the top five, so we shall continue. We shall. Jin Erso and Cassian Andor met their fates. Wow, dark much? On which planet is it? Jedha, Coruscant, Scarif, or Takodana? Hmm. Do you know? I do know. Yeah. I know as well. I know yeah. as well. I wrote the question. Mm -hmm. So. Um. I think, well, I was going to say, I was going to say, I think one of these is a city, not a planet, but actually two of them are cities, but one of them is a city and a planet. Whoa. I know. <laughs> a a lot happening here. See, it's a lot going on. <clears throat> I remember as a kid, the idea that Coruscant, the entire planet was one city, was like mind blowing to me. Like, I loved that idea. Oh, yeah. That was like really cool. What, the thing I think about Star Wars that's always like just kind of hilarious is the fact that all planets are just one climate. Oh, yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you watch enough Star Wars, it's like, we're going to Naboo, which means actually we're probably going to mostly go to one building in one city across the planet. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, Earth, it's like think of how many different ecosystems and races exist just on Earth. Like it, it would not be, the case on Star Wars. It would be very funny to like go to a different planet, you know, like an alien planet, and yeah. watch their movies and watch them refer to Earth 
and then them just be like, like, what would they choose as yeah. like the token landmark of our planet? <clears throat> right. Like, you how know? would Earth be represented? What would be? Yeah. What is the what is the most like obvious <clears throat> place for them to be? Would it be like New York City? Would that be too much to that, say? I mean, it could just not even be in America. It could, you know, it could. I feel like it would probably be somewhere in India or China. What is the epicenter of human existence? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, we'll continue. Any change up? A little oh, bit. Oh, unknown platypus. Perry. Uh, and David Cannon. Back in the leaderboard there. Uh, question 18. Who killed Django Fett? Was it Anakin Skywalker, Mace Windu, Yoda, or Obi-Wan Kenobi? Hmm. Hmm. This is a moment. Also from episode two. A lot, a lot of Attack of the Clones. Yeah. I mean, questions. It's a, I think I saw John Green once describe Attack of the Clones as the most underrated Star Wars movie, but it was mostly because, like, all of the other movies are, like, either overrated or adequately rated. Yeah. And so it's just, like, <coughs> the the end result is... Is that it happens It is to considered just worse... just math. Yeah, it's considered worse than it is, but it doesn't even mean that it's not still the worst one. It right. Just, it just means it's underrated as the worst one. Right, right. It's, like, how I would say, like... Uh, what? Well, mm, hold on. It's like mm, how the Emperor's New Groove is underrated. Like, is it a 10 out of 10? Yes. Is it underrated? Yes. Because it should be an 11. It should be an 11 out of 10. You know? Yeah. It is, it is, like, I don't know why there hasn't been more in the world of Emperor's New Groove. But it's coming. Where is the Emperor's New Groove ride at Disney World, you guys? There's a, there's a roller coaster in the movie. There should be, you know. I mean, literally, Splash Mountain should be an Emperor's New Groove ride. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame them going to for Princess and the Frog. No, me That's either. Cool That's cool too. It's a, it also very fitting. Also very and I'm good. excited to like see the entire ride and the whole story play out and everything. But there are two parts of the Emperor's New Groove that would make great Splash Mountain rides. There would be, and you know? I mean, like, Shark Rocks at the bottom. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> most likely. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> or he's will put your hands up. Come on, Disney. You put two rides in that movie. Where are they? Okay, we're on to Marvel. How's everybody feeling about Marvel on a scale of 1 to 10? Let us know. <coughs> Here we are. Question 20. What is the name of Peter Parker's school in Spider-Man Homecoming? Is it New York School of Science and Technology, Queen's School of Science and Technology, the Midtown School of Science and Technology, or the Uptown School of Science and Technology? You can take this one out with Cat. <laughs> Someone says 10 out of 10 on their on their Marvel ability. So Thomas Norton, I'm expecting to see you show up on that leaderboard. Yeah, dude. Sir. 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 Oh, some uh, Michaela Mills says 11 out of 10. Oh, Mighty okay. confident. Mighty. I feel like we've seen a Michaela in the top five before. We have. I thought so you that, mentioned that it. could be. Oh, you guys are good. It's the Midtown School of Science and Technology. I'm impressed that you got that. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. How'd you guys do? No, <laughs> oh, unknown platypus is back. His back, but we got. I mean, it's a stable group here. You know, in Sitting that, that leaderboard, and Emma Weasley is <coughs> really just like, I mean, flexing up there. Right. Although it's close. Oh, it's close. Galley is catching up. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, Nicole Klemchuk says, "I'm coming back. Coming back. I have all the faith in you, Nicole. Like, you got this. Yeah. Let's see." Who did Natasha disguise herself as in Captain America Winter Soldier? Was it Councilwoman Pierce, Councilwoman Singh, Councilwoman Holly, or Councilwoman Rollins? Uh, we got a super chat here from Paris uh, Shauhan. I hope I got your last name correctly. Uh, it says, how do I feel about Marvel out of 10? 3,000. Oh! Nailed, nailed it. it. Nailed it. We'll never get old. And I, there has to be a day, there has to be a day when... Morgan Stark is a character, and they bring 3,000 back. Oh, my gosh, right? I, I'm Iron Man 3,000 or something. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Do I, it. Iron <coughs> Man 3,000. I'm here awful. for it. Yeah. Uh, Mikami22 says, my goal is to not come in dead last. There is no chance that Morgan Stark does not enter the MCU as a full-blown second Iron Man at some point. Has to. Has to. And I, I, would, love it. I would love it if she held the shield. That'd too. be fantastic. I mean, because I think, like, with the whole Civil War thing, to have her be, like, both ideals in one person. Oh, yeah. Fills my heart with joy. That means you're going to have to wait probably until all the way to the end of the Sam, Sam Wilson run of Captain America, though. True. You but know? that would be about timing. <clears throat> you know what? You're right. That is true. So we, we await phase seven 
eagerly <laughs> for the Morgan saga. Because that, you know, then you're like, you've had this entire saga sort of sans Iron Man. Right. But then it's time to bring him back. It's not, I mean, because Iron Man is iconic. But, like, I mean, it's okay to take a break. It's, it's okay. Like, it we have other heroes better. to talk about. Okay, let's see. <coughs> let's see how we doing here. Oh, oh, Gallade oh. knocks off Emma Weasley for the top spot, going for that puzzle, yo. I did not know that it would. I didn't. I didn't think it would happen. I wow. didn't think it would happen. But Look, here we it's are. It's less than less than hundred points apart. Wow. As well. So tight close. race at the top. There we go. Tight race. Also, you gotta wonder where is Denise? Where is Denise? Where is Denise? I mean, Denise usually shows up around here. Here. It would, it would seem like the next question or two, Denise we'll will be on the board. We're going to find we'll out. Say, question 22. Which celebrity did Ego briefly turn into in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? This question was submitted by patron Agent Krakow. Was it John Travolta, Patrick Swayze, Kevin Bacon, or David Hasselhoff? Oh, man. Uh, Jennifer R. Alio <coughs> says, I can't say, just wanted to say I miss talking to you all. Love to all. Mama sweets. Oh, thanks, Jen. Thanks so much for tuning in. Wish you could be a part of the trivia at Chin. <clears throat> oh, we got Bob in the chat here. We got hey, V in the chat. Oh, uh, always give it up this. for the mods. Leave leave a heart emoji for the mods because they do so much work. They do. They, they make they it they possible really for the rest of us. The correct answer is, in fact, David Hasselhoff. It is. You guys nailed it. Nailed it, indeed. <clears throat> I'm so proud of you. But how does it affect the standings? Not, not even, one bit. Not even at all. So we're not just going to continue. We're going to keep moving. Question 23. Who is the creator of the company Advanced Idea Mechanics? Is it Aldrich Killian, Tony Stark, Jack Tuggert, or Maya Hansen? Look at that. All the hearts all showing the hearts. up for the moderators. No. Uh, Jackson Stapley says, I got here late. Are you guys doing another round? We absolutely are. We sure are. So hang on to your britches. We'll, we'll be giving you that new code. Not before too long. Not before too long. Not at all. Mott with a super chat. Mott says, not related to Marvel or the trivia at all, but I can't wait for the meetups to return. I miss y'all. Dude, Mott, we were just talking about meetups. On this very day. On this very day. On this very day. We we're, also cannot wait. We are hoping. We can't make any promises, but we would love if there was a way that we could do it around Secrets of Dumbledore. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got to see it's how the state April, of the world is. I know. Pandemic stuff. Right. Things. You get it. You all know. I You've will, been, you live on Earth, right? On planet Earth. I'll have a seven-month-old by then. No, right? No, six-month-old. Whoa. That's hard to wrap Whoa. my head around. That is. Okay, okay, question number... You'll be a number, different person by then. I'm then. sure I will be. Question Uh-oh, number, here comes X, Excel, sir. Excel, is that supposed to be like X, Excel, X... Excel, C, Excel, C, -er. Excel, C, -er. Yeah, I think so. Excel, C, -er. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excel, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. That is, I, that's not <coughs> your license plate. You know, I'm not even, no, I'm saying that. It is your license plate. I'm a thousand be. percent sure. Me but too. let me know, let me know. Okay, guys, question number next. We're on question 24. What is the name of the cat in Captain Marvel? Is it Kitty? Ducky, Max, or Goose? If, if there was a question, I think it was going to be close to 100%, it's this one. I think so. I think so. This was a, this was a SCB called it. It was. Video. It was. We did good on this one. We did. Uh, Bailey Stone gives us a super chat here. Thank you so much, Bailey. It says, do you think April 4th will be in the Fantastic Movies at some point? I kind of do. I kind of do as well. Yeah. It seems like it's going to be hard to tell the whole Grindelwald, Dumbledore origin stories. And they've been bringing back those young actors who have played them. Oh. Um, like, you know, for the mirror scene and stuff. Yeah. So I, I bet we see a lot <clears throat> more of the fight around Ariana's death. Well, also the fact that Ariana is thus far still in is unconfirmed as an Obscurus, but is. is. Um, and I don't think there'll be a way for the... Yeah, I, I would, for sure, I would love to see, the, like, yeah, Ariana and Amber Forth. Oh, absolutely. And the Grindelwald stuff. Like, it'd be such a bummer if we missed out on seeing that in the, the next... Because there's still three movies. The real question is how much will they just pivot from Newt as the main character? Because uh. at some point, it would just have to become Dumbledore if they're going to keep going down the storyline, unless somehow, and here's my, you want to see my, like, hear my out of the park theory? Let's hear it. Is that somehow the reason that we, like, Newt doesn't come up in the Harry Potter series at all is because the way that he cures someone as an Obscurus is by, like, giving up his magical ability. Mm. Like, he, like, withdraws like trans, it. Like, transfers his soul or something? Or? Something. Something. That'd so, like, big. I would literally go so far as to say that, like, Newt is not magical as of the Harry Potter moments. That's Which is why he's not involved. Because he always does the right thing. Right. It's just, it's just the Newt. That's my thought. That's my theory. Wild, off the wall, no support to go with it, just thinking out loud. Uh, Alok... Uh, Bacotti says, where's the Emperor New Groove question for Trivia Night? I don't know if there's an Emperor's New Groove question. 
It's a good. It's a good point. It's, it's a good a, it's, point. It's a fair question. It's a fair question. Oh, Emma Weasley. Oh man, taking oh, a small boy. drop. Taking a small drop. Small drop there. David Cannon moving up into second place, and Gallade holding strong at first. All right. Question number next. Question Here we go. Next. Now we're in. Okay. We're in everybody's wheelhouse. Everybody's wheelhouse. Get ready for the Harry Potter questions. Here we go. All right. First Harry Potter question. Who is Lockhart's healer at St. Mungo's? Is it Miriam Strout? Gladys Gudgeon, Janice Thickey, or Veronica Smethley? Goodness me. This chapter is the most, it is one of the most trivia, like, it's a gold mine for trivia. That's it, what is, it is, I would say. Yeah, um, there's no doubt. Let's see here. Hang on a second. I think I missed this. Maybe I didn't get, no, I gotcha. Hang on. Right. Okay, your, your username, I have to tell you, is probably A plus on the evening. It's Spunky Crunk Babes <laughs> says, this is so much fun, but me and my cousin Cassie are not doing well. It's okay. It's, it's okay. very hard trivia. It is. The answer is Miriam Strout. Gladys Gudgeon is like Lockhart's biggest fan. She's the <laughs> one sending him all the letters. Gladys Gudgeon. Oh, that's one of those things that I feel like you'll always get. That doesn't, it's not stored in my brain desk at all. Oh, man. How'd you guys do? Ooh. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Harry Potter questions. Emma Weasley back up. Back in the action. But we got Gallade at the top. Emma Weasley, Excelsior, Rat King, and David Cannon. We're oh. seeing some silt like the Rat names King. are, are hanging. Rat, Rat King's new. I'll give you that. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, yep. Rat King, do you have what it takes? Let's see. Okay, question number next. 27, which creature do Newt and Jacob ca capture in Central Park? Is it a billywig, an errumpent, a rune spore, or a demiguise? And guys, after this question, we're going to gonna go ahead and give you the pin for round number two. If you have a second device handy, a computer, a new tab. New tab open. Whatever the case may be, we just want to make sure that you guys are able to get in there so that we can continue to play this evening. Just in case, or if you're sitting at home, if you missed the code for the first round, get your thumbs ready for the code for the second round. Exactly. The correct answer is an arumpent. An arumpent. You guys got it. Eddie Redmayne, I feel like, deserved an Oscar for this mating dance for this whole scene, but I don't think it's, he got one. Whatever. It's, it's, oh. <coughs> he did get one for something else, though, right? He's he's received an yeah, Academy Award. He has. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, oh, good, goodness me. Uh oh! Uh, J.W. Pringle says, Mental health moment. If you think you need help with your mental health, please seek out help. You are loved, worthy, and we need you here with us. Man! Great, well, su great use of the super chat. Well said. Well said. Well said. Um, I know that you guys are, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that we are <coughs> sponsored by BetterHelp. That is like... We stand by it. We're both big advocates for mental health. We both go to therapists ourselves. Yeah. We highly recommend it. Don't feel like there's a stigma around it. You should definitely check it out. I'm sure it will help you a lot. Even even if you feel like you're doing like there's not there's there's no wrong time to go to therapy. Exactly. Like, exactly. I think when I well, when I started going, it was shocking to me how much I was carrying around and had no idea how much of a weight it was on my life. So Anyway. Anyway, moving code. on. Back to the game. Oh, to the code. Round two. Get your fingers ready. I'll give you five, four, three, two, one. Extra second for good luck. Code for round number two is going to be 4806347. And as a reminder... Ooh, Ooh, do gosh. not catch on fire. Whoa, I almost <laughs> just caught on fire, y'all. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Any <laughs> that would have been... That would have been eventful. For we the Think of the views, Ben. Uh, we would have gone viral. Yeah. <laughs> the Super Carlin brothers caught themselves on fire. <laughs> Don't oh, do man. that. Anyway, as a reminder, first place gets um, both this new candle, which you can use to light fires. On yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do, do not do that. <laughs> Don't do that. And the uh, Super Carlin Brothers Trivia Night Extravaganza Puzzle. It is a 1,000 piece puzzle uh, and it's full of tons of SCB Easter eggs on it. it uh, the artwork is uh, from an SCB fan, Ariel. She submitted this during uh, Spirit Week this year. <coughs> Super fun. I'm going to let you handle that. I yes. should put it down over here. I'm not going to reach across the fire. Okay, that sounds good. Maybe. Sounds I can't good. make any promises. If at any point in time you want <coughs> me to hold up the puzzle, I will do it. Okay. In in the in the <coughs> name of you not catching a flame. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Hey, oh. Uh, someone said maybe that the code isn't working. The code again for round two is going to be 4806347. Hopefully I got that right. Are Hopefully. You guys, are you guys successfully getting into the round? Let me know. Uh, Max Van Dolphin says that jacket is literal fire. Literal fire. 
I'm not sure which of us you're referring to, but I'm going to assume both. I'll assume both as well. It was almost literally fire. Both? Literally, literally. Literally, literally. Okay, you guys are in. That makes me feel better. Okay, yeah, so one more time before we continue. And this round is going to be 4806347. I love how many of you are willing to take the moment to literally, like, type into us and say that you're in. Just so you know. That means a lot to me. Um, Here we go. On to the next. Which goblin, other than Griphook, was traveling with Dean Thomas in the forest in Deathly Hallows? Was it Glugbutt, Bogrod, Gornuk, or Burgok? Fun fact, one of these was made up by us. Fun fact. Can you guess which one? <laughs> Long time trivia fans, no. Long time trivia fans. Uh, they appreciate the, the answers in this one. Uh, UBT Pixie Lock says, I seriously want to know where I can buy that floral jacket, though. Be completely honest with you, it's quite a I, hassle. I cannot remember. <laughs> um, it was a, I think it's like a Japanese company. I'll try to find it and I'll the link it somewhere. Was of course Glug Butt. No, no it wasn't. It was Gornuck. It was Gornuck. You're gonna, you're gonna mess with people's brain That's desks right. like my own. Okay, how? Ooh, oh, oh Emma Weasley climbing back up. She'd fallen to, <laughs> fallen to fifth. Hubble Space up uh, to fifth now, knocking uh, out Rat King. Oh, Rat King, yeah, I remember them. I remember yeah. them. Uh, code again for round two is going to be 4806347. All right, question 29. Who is the captain of the Slytherin Quidditch team in Chamber of Secrets? Is it Theodore Knott, Blaze Zabini, Marcus Flint, or Draco Malfoy? Mm. Hmm. Mm. How much were you paying attention? Or Glugbutt. Uh, Nicole Klemchuk says, this is just for Ben. I am in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Nicole. I very much appreciate it. Uh, also, we have a super chat here from Graco Archibald, who said, glad to finally catch you guys live. Would love to join, but it's still 6 a.m. on my end. Hope you have a nice evening. Hey, you, can, you can play. It's nothing wrong with a little early morning trivia. Nothing. Yeah, just sip, sip your coffee, just hang sit out. there. Uh, and we got one here also from Michael Wicks, who says, hey, brother, love from the UK. During the last year, your channel has helped me escape from the world, uh, oh. from the pandemic. Keep up your awesome videos. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank that, honestly, you. Honestly, it means an enormous amount <coughs> to us. Um, let's see here. How we doing? Everybody sitting the same? You ready for question number next? I am ready for question number next. Let's do it. Question number next. What is the name of Cormac McLagan's uncle? Is it Theolonius, Maximus, Tiberius, or Rufus? Ooh. Also, just FYI, if we have missed your super chat, do not worry. We will go back and make sure that we get to all of them before we leave yes. on the night. It will not go unnoticed no matter what. Uh, Justice Marlin says, I think y'all missed my yeah, first super sorry. chat. No worries, though, because I know <coughs> it's probably hectic managing the stream. Um, we'll get it. Thank you for doubling down on your super chat. But yes, we will get to you no matter what. Pinky promise. Here we go. The answer is Tiberius. I'm Uncle Tiberius. Yes. Oh, kind of like maybe it was James Tiberius Kirk. Mm, probably. From... That sounds like McLagan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see how you guys are doing here. Is that going to do it for... Oh, Rat King is back! Wow. 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 Rat King mean business. Indeed. Do you think Rat King could win it? I think they could. I mean, They're certainly only... within striking distance. The question is, how well do they know Avatar The Last Airbender? Because we're about to go into the real curveball round for a lot of people. Someone says, where is Denise? And my question is, which of these people is Denise? Yeah, I know. De- secretly, Denise is Galay, right? Denise. Where is Denise? She's here. Carry She's there. forth and carry on. Let's She's see. She's every freaking where. We're into Avatar. Denise. We're... That's a Ted Lasso reference. It was a Ted Lasso reference. Where I will now let Jay finish reading the questions because sometimes I mispronounce the correct answers. I'm not going to promise anything here, but we'll give it a shot. What is the name of the place the Blue Spirit rescued Aang from? Was it the Yakone Fortress, the Pohuai Stronghold, the Jeonju Fortress, or the Taku Stronghold? I made the right choice. Yeah. I this made the, right, cho- I made the right choice. No doubt. <laughs> Oh, I mean, do we have any Ted Lasso fans out there in the audience? Of course because, we do. Because, I mean, if, if you're not already watching Ted Lasso, you, you, just, you, you really need to you're be. You're missing out it's on so some, good. some pure joy. Pure talk, joy. Talk about mental health. I think Ted Lasso is, yeah. is good for right. the old noggin. Exactly. It's the Pahuai stronghold. Did you know it? Uh, yes. Yes? I yes. I think so. Okay. That was between that and Jean Ju. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see how we... Ooh, oh, boy. Oh. Gallade holding strong. 
There's no chance that now. Denise is Rat King. <laughs> Denise, you would not be Rat King, would you? I am gonna, I'm gonna light myself on fire. It's gonna happen. Don't do not do it. I don't want to. This was I mean this is a nice jacket. I don't wanna but uh, anyway. Mateus McGregor says, has the second round started? It is not yet started. Not. And if you would like to join, the code is 4806347. Okay, ready? And I'm ready. Next. All right. Which group is known for using fans while fighting? Is it the White Lotus, the Kyoshi Warriors, the Freedom Fighters, or the Dai Li? Ooh. I think you guys got this one. Yeah? I would think. This feels like fruit that hangs appropriately yeah yeah it's like within a reachable distance from the ground yeah, yeah. there's a phrase with that i can't remember I don't know, who's to say uh the word <clears throat> slinger with the super chat says i recently broke my collarbone so i've been watching scb backlog because i'm bedridden thank you so much for years and years of content oh my gosh goodness gracious i'm so sorry to hear you broke your collarbone Hope i feel know better. that it's painful and there's not a really speedy way to do it how do you put a cast on this uh you just kind of like wait right the kiyoshi warriors is of course the correct answer well done. Many of you got it. But did Rat King? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, Hubble Space! Knew it. Did Man. Emma Weasley. Emma Weasley has been up and down all around. I think I <laughs> think that Emma Weasley is just, like, like cautious with the answers, but correct. Right. So like, it's like, you, getting like, everything right. Yeah. Just maybe taking, like, that extra, like, two, three I seconds. I think that has to be it, because, like, so she she's not falling far, but she's, like, getting points every round, but not always enough. Right, right. Well, we'll see. There's still time to win, there Emma. Is. Which martial art fighting style is waterbending based on? This was submitted by patron McKendry. Is it jujitsu, judo, wushu, or tai chi? <laughs> Chris Ray of the super, super Chat to the previous Super Chat and says, Hope your collarbone heals quickly. Wow. Thank you so much, Chris Ray. Thank That's you. That's very, very thoughtful. Passing along the good feels. Indeed. We got there. Let's All see. right, this one's tricky because it's not—it's not, it's, not it's, it's a little bit more of like a martial arts uh, question. You guys got it. It's Tai Chi. It's Tai Chi. There yeah. you go. All right. I—I I thought that would maybe be trickier than it was. Gallade, twenty-four correct answers in a row. Here we are praising Emma Weasley. It's like a who could hear us. So they're like, yeah, yeah, she's pretty good, but also Gallade. 24 in a row. That is impressive. That is impressive. All right. What is Mai's brother's name? Is it Juan Juan, Tom Tom, John John, or Ben Ben? Hey, some of these are us. Yeah. How about that's that? That's right. Some of them are us. And I'll, and I'll say, oh, well, I won't, I won't give it away too much. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Mots says, I can't wait for the return of Jay's vlogs. Oh, man. Me too, Mots. We've been talking about how to, like, bring them back in a more sustainable way. Yes. We, we basically, yeah. We want, we want to make sure that it's consistent. We do. Yeah. <clears throat> and well produced. The answer is Tom Tom. Although I thought it was funny putting in Juan Juan. That's a lavender brown answer. Ha, nice. Yeah, Someone says it's pronounced May, not my. Oh, you're right. It is pronounced May. I was reading it as if it was the Yu-Gi-Oh character, which is spelled the same way. Oh, I that's see. That's my. That's my see. bad. My bad, ah, y'all. I see what you did there. That's May bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zing. hilarious. Okay, and we got we got we got pretty solid status hmm. here. Emma Weasley. This there. is the okay. So what are the stakes here? It's final question. It's Gallades to lose. It would be so. Gallades <clears throat> pretty much need to whiff, and Hubble Space would have to get it. So basically, if you're Hubble Space right now, it's like, do you take that chance? No. Can they win, or is it locked out? Because it's a thousand points, right? And oh. they have more than a thousand point lead. So I think Gallade has it. Okay. So then we're talking about we're, we're talking, talking about, about a contest between because between spots four and five, there's less than a thousand points. Okay. So now it's just can these four stay on the podium? Yes. Emma Weasley in particular has been all over the place. And is on the chopping block. But for all we know, could come in second. Someone said that may be a dad joke. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, but spelled M-A-I. Hilarious! It. That was really good. Um, okay, guys. Really, we're, we're looking at... We're, we're trying to see if these final four can hang on to their hang on to their butts. Last question. Who teaches Wan Shi Tong how radios work? Is it Janora, Su Yin, Kuvira, or Korra? Wan Chi Tong, he who knows 10,000 things. 
Looks like Emma Weasley's got some fans. Oh man. Out there in the audience. Oh my god, they saw my comment. We sure did. And that one. Yeah. Um someone asked for the code again for the next round. It's gonna be four eight zero six three four seven. Okay. For all the proverbial marbles, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is How it, did, guys. This is it. How did Emma land? Hubble, Hubble space! space! Third place. David, David Cannon, Cannon in second. And of course, first place. Has got to be. Got to be the Gallade. one, the only. Gallade. Gallade. And how? And Rat King and... Okay, so our our top five remain the top five. They held on. They, they did. They held on for dear life. Okay, guys, if well you were... Done. If you were one of the ones who made it... Uh oh, oh, dear. Oh, Did man. we get stuck again? Hang on, hang on. We're going to have to look weird for a second, but then we'll fix it, and we'll be back, and we hit OK. And hey, there we're we are. back. All right. Oh, man. Okay, guys, so uh, if you were in the top five, be sure to take a screenshot. There's an email in the description below uh, the stream where you can go and submit that, and Jordan will coordinate with you. Uh, first place, Gallade will get both the puzzle. Do you, you, okay, go ahead. Here we go. The puzzle. The brand new Super Carlin Brothers Trivia Night Extravaganza uh, puzzle with a limited quantity. So if you are interested in that, I would recommend uh, heading on over to carlinbrotherscoffee.com and checking it out. Uh, and then second through fifth place, we'll get a, a choice between the brand new puzzle or our brand new candle scent, which is referred to as Common Room. Common Room. Specifically a lion-themed common room. It does. And there is a lion-themed charm exclusive to the common room candle inside so if you're trying to collect all the charms uh and you want to make sure you're going to want to make sure to pick one of these because it had this is the only one all of them all of the common room candles will come with the same charm yes yeah on the inside yeah, they will all have the same one and, and if, then yeah. all the other candles have different charms yeah if you don't know what we're talking about inside each of the candles of carla brothers coffee is a uh, collectible metal charm magical charm that as the candle burns down, you will be able to like take out of the candle and then collect. Also, Ben, people have been asking, where's Denise? Where's all this hype? Let me just say, the chat has informed us that Denise, despite not making it to the top five, still finished seventh. So, Denise. do not do not be fooled. Denise was there. She Denise was, in was it. swimming just beneath the surface that whole game. The question is, will we see her in the second round? Huh. Jordan, says, Jordan, our office manager, who's here yeah. with us right now, says that she has the fire extinguisher ready just in case you catch on fire. Well, it could be you. We don't know. Could it? Look, yours is, yours is made of pl it says plants on it, you know? <laughs> our, plants are more flammable, therefore. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Let's show, the, I think there's a good chance more people have arrived, so if we want to maybe run our... Yes, we're going to show you guys... Puzzle reel. Because we put a lot of effort into this, so if you've already seen it once... I'm sorry, it's only 30 <coughs> seconds. If you haven't seen it yet, feast your eyes on this. Awesome. And we're back. There you go. The Super Carlin Brothers Tribute Night Extravaganza 1,000-piece puzzle available right now on carlinbrotherscoffee.com. Or you can win it if you think you can make it into the top five, but limited number available. So if you want to just be really sure you get it, you can just go ahead over there right now. Exactly. There you go. Um, we got a super chat here from Chris Ray who says, More excited for new Spider-Man or Fantastic Beasts? Oh, man. That's like... Uh, well, that's... I mean, Spider-Man is just closer. I'm really excited for both in I, very different ways. Yeah, it's 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 tough because here's the thing is that like I I haven't been a huge fan of Crimes of Grindelwald, but but I think that we are finally close to the era of existence where we won't have to suffer through not knowing what that movie was all about any exactly. longer. And so I think as long as answers come in the third installment, then then it will make that really fun. Yeah. But if it's disappointing, then that's going to be hard. So, there's that. Um, 
I don't think Spider-Man will be disappointing in any way. That's true. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, Boys' says Marquez says, so nowhere online does it confirm Kingpin is in Hawkeye. Where did you guys get the scoop? I think perhaps... what. So what happened in particular with that is that as of us writing it, um, Vincent D. D D'Onofrio yep. had tweeted something that was like a... It was like a poem that was like a 99% confirmation of it. And that's when we wrote the video and shot the video. And then between us, like, finishing the video and it going live, uh, he tweeted something again that was like, you guys you guys really shouldn't take me that seriously. Sorry about that. So, um, But also, Andrew <coughs> Garfield and Tobey Maguire are also trolling the entire internet right now. It's very hard it to pertains. know. So, you were correct. It is not confirmed. We... Uh, we, we got caught in a weird timing situation there. Sorry about that. However, I'm still not convinced he's not in the show. <laughs> or, yeah, in the show. Because if you read the Hawkeye comic that the show is based on, uh, he is in that. And many of the villains who are listed to be in the Hawkeye show um, work for Kingpin in the comics. Yes. Yes, and it also, I think that it's very, very, very likely or else probable that the, <clears throat> with the state of sort of like IMDB as it pertains to spoilers for a lot of these movies, I feel like they are getting a lot more careful about the information that they are like yeah. announcing to the public and probably finding some like back alleyways to allow someone to be in something without spoiling it in advance. Um no matter what, Spider-Man will confirm or or whatever that idea. Yeah. If there's nobody who's not listed, then it'd be like, okay, whatever. Maybe it was just fun for everybody to think about it. It's creating a lot of hype. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you the code one more time, uh, and then we're going to lock in for round number two of trivia. It's going to be 4806347. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Are you ready? Let's see if we can switch over. We are there. <coughs> Hang on, popping in. Oh, you guys, man. very full game. We got a fuller game than the last game, which that means it's gonna prove to be more competitive yet. Oh wow! Oh got, man, like, a bunch more people, of more people coming showing in up. All of one hot second here. All right, guys, we're gonna give you till five, four, three, two, and one, plus an extra second or two for good luck. And we're locked. There we go. All right. Uh, JW Pringle with another very generous super Whoa. chat. Thank you so much, JW. It says, just want to say thanks for all the fun over the years and cultivating a community of loving humans that support each other and stick up for the little guy. Good job, brothers. Enjoy an ice cream on me. Oh, thanks so much. I will have an ice cream when I, I get home. I have to tell you guys, though, one of the most remarkable things about the community of people that subscribes to the channel is that we, we don't deal with hardly any, like, problems like it's yeah. a very very positive community of people that all seem to jive extremely well with each other uh so we are just so grateful for that yes um uh, so thank you guys for being a part of the community and making it so much fun for us to sort of be a part of ourselves yeah like one of the number one things we what the oh the video's frozen again the and OBS aren't playing next together. We can figure it out on okay okay hang on we'll fix the frozenness Hang on. Chin cam. And we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry for being frozen during my heartfelt moment there, but sorry about that. Yeah, I was gonna say one of the number one things whenever we talk to other creators, they say they struggle with is like having like really toxic people in their um like comments and stuff like that. And it's always like a well, I don't really have to deal with that. <laughs> I know. I, it's, it's like a really, really, really unusual uh, like reality of of the SCB community. Yeah. That it just happens to be people who are excited to have a place to come together and enjoy all the things that we enjoy in the same place. Which is what so. we're doing tonight. Are you guys ready? I, can, I guess we can go ahead and get started. I think we're going to get started. All right. Get your phones ready. Quiz number two is about to start. There is puzzles. There is candles on the line and ever lurking beneath the surface, Denise. Beware. Be weary. Okay, okay, Kahoot. At work. 
apparently. Part two. Part two. Here we go, people. You got this. All the faith. Starting off with Disney, as always, and we begin with question two. What was the first animated feature release, released after Walt Disney's death? Was it The Sword in the Stone, Robin Hood, The Aristocats, or The Jungle Book? Oh, man. Another $20 super chat from Kathleen Neblet. Thank you for bringing trivia back. Our Friday afternoons are so much happier. You are welcome. It, honestly, it's it's so much fun. It is. I love getting to see everybody come out. I, I'm always blown away by how smart you guys are. It is impressive. I have, I, we've talked before about like competing against like, you know, the SCB community and uh, we would get our, get our destroyed. Uh, we would get our butts handed to us. Oh, you, okay. This is an interesting one. It was pretty spread, but still a plurality of you knew the answer was the jungle book. The jungle book. The first ever DVD that you and I own. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it was one of the better. I don't think having an animated movie as our first DVD really showcased the quality between VHS and DVD in the way our dad wanted it to. Yes. It's also true that the year that he, uh, our dad loved getting like that hard to find item a big early adopter yes and one year he <coughs> got us a playstation 2 but couldn't buy any games yeah so one year we got a dvd player and maybe not the world's greatest on dvd movie and then one year we got a ps2 and a ps1 game yeah. to play on it which was tony hawk pro skater 2 which is still a lot of fun just a fun fact about us in case you were interested how are we doing here? Wow. Ooh. Bunch of new people up here. We got Kira Ray Kenobi, Chicken, New Bastard 69. <laughs> From Fortnite. Uh, Gold Star Bubbles and Wellwe. Beautiful. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Fantastic people. Which of the following Mario Brothers characters makes an appearance in Wreck It Ralph? Is it Princess Peach, Luigi, Bowser, or Mario? Do you pride yourself on a really good Luigi? No, I just sort of went for it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I was like, that was the only one you went for. <coughs> yeah. You don't think I was a good, uh, I was a good Bowser? Uh, I mean, Bowser. Bowser. <laughs> That's <laughs> Mario, not you again. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Whoa. Uh, 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 Greco Archibald with the super chat says. Always felt fish out of water in my area because of loving stuff like Marvel, Disney, Harry Potter, Pokemon, and Star mm -hmm. Wars, and I'm so thankful mm -hmm. to have found your channel and felt not alone since the Scyther uh, was still on in the BG. Um, background. Hey man, embrace your spikes. Embrace, embrace, embrace your, your spikes. Celebrate yourself. That's basically what means the same thing. They do. They do. They yeah. do. But yeah, that's that's actually been like a very interesting evolution of our um, our slogan at the start of the videos. Yeah. Is that it used to be celebrate your fandom, and then I think as time has gone on, we're like it's more like you. Yeah. So and I don't know if anybody noticed, but it did change. It and did now, change. It now says celebrate yourself. Yes. Which we hope you do. You're question, worth celebrating. Question four. Which Hawaiian island do Lilo and Nani live on? Is it Molokai, Kauai, Lanai, or Oahu? Oh, I'm so glad you had this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. Guess where Ben's not from. Um, I'm not. I'm Hawaii. not. I'm not. I was supposed to go to Oahu last year. and I That would have been get, fun. Didn't get to go. I don't know why. It sounds like a good trip to me. I know, I know. The round is closed. Yes, yeah, sorry if you did not make it in. The round is closed, and this is the final quiz. I'm gonna, it doesn't mean you can't play along. And if you do just play along at home, just like on paper or something, do go ahead and share your scores with us, uh, like on Twitter. We always want to know. Yeah. Uh, hashtag Kahoot with the Carlins. Not sponsored. That's just the easiest way to find it for us. It's true. That's true. Okay, guys. Let's see how you did here. Whoa! Oh, big change. Oh, Jamie Tart. Jamie Tart. Oh, man. Unknown Platypus is back. Look at this. Look at oh, this. We got oh. New Master 69. We got Mighty Moose. KMT. Jamie Tart. Hey, Jamie Tart. Yeah. This Jamie Tart. Did you know that he, like, Mate, like he he doesn't talk that the actor doesn't talk with that accent like he chose that for the character. That is, but he has a different English accent. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, well yeah, done. Pretty amazing. All right, all about it. Oh man, <laughs> Jimmy Tart. Yes, <laughs> Bob is all in. Gotta love it. Gotta love Gotta it. Gotta love it. Question number five: Which of the following animals is not featured in the Circle of Life scene in The Lion King? Is it ostriches, cheetahs, hippos? Or crinos. I like this question. Do you hear this the silent trickier. age? Yeah. And the yeah. crinos. The crinos. Yeah. Yeah. Crinos. This is one of the best scenes <clears throat> in cinema. Yeah, someone said it. And now that's in my head. Yes. Sorry about J that. Baby shark as Jamie Tart is now in your head. I love that this show 
did such a good job of like the world building. This is Ted Lasso in case you're unaware. <laughs> but like that they have these things because if you go to other sporting events, every sporting team has yeah. things that they say. Yes. And like so this is very fitting. It feels very natural. Yes, it yeah. does. The correct answer is hippos. Hippos is right. Wow. And people want for cheetahs. No, the cheetahs I remember, I can I can I can see, the see them standing up. They're prominent. Yeah. Yeah. Afraid not, friends. Oh, big whiff up. Jamie Tart obviously didn't know about the hippo. Silver Wolf, She Violet, Austin Man, Diz Wiz, and Banana. B -A -N -A -N -A. You know, interestingly, so last year I was yes. supposed to go to Hawaii yeah. and Africa. Wow. <laughs> like, and then two back to back two questions. Two back to back questions. Yeah. Didn't get to go to either. COVID. How many beignets does Lottie order from Tiana for her party in The Princess and the Frog? Is it about 200, about 700, about 400, or about 500? Beignets, beignets, beignets are good. They are. <laughs> really darn tasty. Man, if there is one place in America I want to go to eat food, it is New Orleans. Like, yes. We need to do that at some point. We can go. Maybe we should do a meetup in New Orleans. And is anybody, just for this. Anybody watching right now in the New Orleans area, Let we're just willing know. to go to New Orleans. Yeah. Um, Let's do it. The correct answer is about 500. Wow. Good job, guys. That's a lot of beignets. It, it is. It is. Man. The change up. You know what this means? You guys are leaving the door wide open for Denise. Okay? Who is you, just like... She's just like, Cracking knuckles excellent, over there. excellent. People are tripping up early. LMH into the lead, though. Wenley, Austin Man, keeps in the top five, and then Ash and Kootsweeki. Okay. Kootsa Kiwi. All uh, right, and now we're into the Pixar section of the here quiz. Here we go. Question number eight is going to be in Coco. Which cheek of Miguel's face is his dimple on? Is it neither, right, left, or both? The double dimple? Could it be? I don't think so. There's a whole scene that's like dimple, no dimple, dimple, no dimple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But do you know which side of this? Would you uh, coin flip? I'm pretty. I would, I would, I'm pretty sure I know. Yeah. I wish I had a dimple. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, uh, you can't actually see mine because I got my beard. No I, one has ever like. I hate dimples. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because yeah, the word dimple is like so like, oh, I was positive. Wrong. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, so positive, but then if you put a P at the front of that word, oh, immediately like, upsetting. Put dimple. I know. <laughs> I know. Put dimples. Terrible word. All right. Now we, oh man. Okay. Bottom okay. Okay. word. Oh okay. man. Austin man holding strong. Uncle Saka from the Water Tribe. Grace Ramona. And LMH, holding strong at the top. And Ash Ketchum. And Ash Ketchum, the Pokemon trainer. The one, the only, the never aging. The never aging. What's your guys' theory on that? Question nine, which of the following powers does Jack-Jack not have that we know of? Is it super strength, self-duplication, self super flexibility, or shape-shifting? We got some Sokka fans in the chat right Sokka. now. And someone Drop. says pedimples are the worst. Pedimples are the worst. I struggled with pedimples in high school for a little while. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those things. I mean, here's the thing, kids. They're going to tell you it's a lot of different things, but it's the sugar. The sugar? That's what that's what did, that's what what does it to me today. To this day. Too okay. much sugar intake, breakout. Pedimples. Pedimples. Okay, super flexibility is correct, and you guys knew it. Yes. In spades. Oh, Boo Gibbs. Hey. Hey, that's a great name. That's a really heads up name. I like it. That's amazing. Uh, Sinem Games, thank you for the super chat there. No comment, Sir. but we appreciate it either which way. Question 10. What is Wally's favorite musical? Is it High School Musical, West Side Story, The Music Man, or Hello Dolly? One of these things feels like it would be much more obvious. You think so? <laughs> if, if, if it was, if it was one of these, it'd be hard not to remember. It'd be. I mean, yeah. I can see Wally jamming to some Zac Efron. Though. There's no doubt. I feel like yeah, if Wally came out like today, they could get away with that. That'd oh yeah. Really oh yeah. They totally yeah. could. Uh, Mott's, Mott says, uh, Jay and Ben, this whole community, thank you for being so amazing and supportive. I love and appreciate you all. Mott's, thank you, friend. Mott's. Always there, always supportive. We appreciate the it. Is, Hello, Dolly. That's the opening song in the 
the movie is from Hello Dolly. All the music in Wally is fantastic. Yeah, it's very good. How'd you guys do? Oh, Boo oh, Games moving Figment, on. Figment, the Imagination Dragon, into Amazing. the top five. Wow, does it even exist? Uh, question eleven: How many bears are depicted on the necklace Merida gives the witch in Brave? Is it four, three, two, or one? Wow, I love how it actually went in order. I know that was lucky. That was. It could have been confusing. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, look at Matza singing in the chat. Is there going to be another round? This will be the last round of the night. So sorry if you didn't get into either of them. But uh, hey, if you want some more trivia action, you can totally go and pick up the new puzzle that we have available at carlinbrotherscoffee.com, yeah, the which depicts trivia, trivia night extravaganza. That's right. It's well, so much fun. Also, kind of limited quality. So if you're interested, be sure to go and check it out. Limited quantity. Oh, quantity. Uh, not limited quality. Unlimited quality. Unlimited quality. I misspoke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good save. Good save. There we go. Maple! And Sokka's back. Look at this. Look at this. And Boo Gibbs firing right on up there inside of the Pixar section. You, you know to expect it. Yeah. Everyone should have seen that coming. Where does A113 appear in Toy Story? Is it on a bedpost, a bookshelf, a license plate, or a skateboard? Ooh. This one's pretty famous. This one is pretty famous. It's sort of the first one. Yes. It's like, how is this before people knew to be looking for A113? Arguably not the most prominent one, though. No? This I is would, pretty prominent. I would say Wally's the most prominent. Oh, you're right. It's like it's direct. Like, it's like part of the plot. It's part of the plot. Yeah. It's like set out loud. Directive. Yeah. A113. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look, 113 is the first three numbers. That is spooky. Oh, Whoa. weird. That was awesome, you guys. Did you guys coordinate that? Hey. This is pretty cool. Hey, lemons. Lemons! Oh, dude, you just know. You just know. Guys. Lemons leave, already has a following. Uh, lemons has a following. Leave leave a lemon in the chat if you're rooting for lemons Which right you are. Which, I mean, let's face I mean, Who it. doesn't love some good citrus uh, fruit? Every, you know, it's it get, gets you right up in the morning. Oh, alien. Okay. Ready for Star Wars, I guess. Yeah, we're on to Star Wars. You ready for this? I'm You're ready. Up. You're up. Okay. C-3PO is fluent in how many different forms of communication? Is it 6,000, 60,000, 600,000, or 6 million? Ooh. Oh, look at the lemon oh, fans out there. Lemon fans represent. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. This is uh, This is always one of those where it's like, I feel like because they're all sixes, it could trip you up a little bit. Yeah, you can like, remember Wait a the minute. six, but it's like, how many sixes is it? The most? The fewest? It's the most. It's the most. Six it's six million, million. Forms of communication. I uh, feel like that. Oh, he always says that, like such a thing, uh, but it's got to be the case in like the Star Wars universe that like a language chip is just a thing you put in a droid. Yeah, I think that you seems know? right. It's not like Anakin knew six million languages. Yeah, and, like, yeah sat exactly. And taught them all. Yeah. Um, we did lose lemons. Lemons is okay. That's okay, lemons. We believe in you. They'll come back. We They'll believe come back. in you. Sokka's back though. We do have uh, also over, over at CarlaMillersCoffee.com. If you're just in a very lemony mood, uh, a sherbet lemon flavored candle. Indeed, we do. It doesn't have the exclusive charm in it like this one does, but it will have a charm in it. Help your collection. There we go. So more, a little more summary. This one's more fall, but whatever. Question 15. Approximately how big is a womp rat? Is it four meters long, two meters long, one meters long, or three meters long? Oh, I used to bullseye womp rats back home. They're not much bigger than this thing. And this thing. I, I think Luke didn't understand how exquisite he was with his firing abilities. Yeah, that's for sure. And he's ultimately the one who does it. So, yeah. You know. Use the force. How does the beam kind of like go su get like sucked into the thing? Does I don't know. I mean, sense? it's like an air intake. Is it an air? Okay. Yeah, okay. so maybe it just got, and it's space, so there shouldn't be gravity out there. Not that Star Wars plays with like real physics by any means. Not at any, no. Not at all. It's two meters. Two meters. Two meters. You think you can bullseye a womp rat? That's oh, like Sokka thinks he can. As can Unada de Kelsey, welcome to the top five, and Brady Y. And Baymax! Hey, the the Baymax is here. I love, hey. I love, I love Baymax. Yes. <laughs> Question 16. What did the Empire mine on Jeddah? Was it Sun Crystals, Beskar, Kyber Crystals, or Rhydonium? If 
you know, you know. If you know, you know. Was it not the force? I don't think he uses the force to send them down. Because they believed the shot was makeable by, by not, anyone. a non-force user. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's so. not the, yeah, that's the funny thing, too, is that, like, he's got, like, the little, like, and then, you know, like, uh, Obi-Wan's, like, use the force, and he's, like, yeah. he doesn't use it. Right. And, and then he just, like, by feel. Yeah, so. by feel. This is one of those things that was pointed out to me, not, like, last year, though. Like, there are three parts in the movie where Luke is complaining about not being able to see with technology. Like, he has the blast shield down, he can't see through the binoculars having all these things and then he gets to that part and he's like he's like no take the thing out in front of your eyes and just use the force what the heck i know i just learned that i know second. i know it's like oh that's so clever remove remove the blindfold yeah okay how do we do everybody oh baymax baymax is a star wars fan is anyone surprised is anyone surprised no they're not what line was famously improvised by harrison ford is it never tell me the odds don't everyone thank me at once. Laugh it up, fuzzball, or I know. Those are all really good Han Solo moments. They are really good Han Solo moments. Uh, Bay State says, mid-200s, watch out, everyone. I might get a passing grade. <laughs> With your guts, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> like, discount Star Wars. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> like, off-brand. Use the guts. Feel your guts, Luke. The correct answer is, I know. I know. This uh, comes after Leia says, I love you. I know. I know. And inspired a thousand couples shirts at Disney World ever. Yes, it did. Yes. Austin H-Man 20 in the top five. Just another Ben, though, is up 128 places as the highest climber this week. How about that? Just well, another Ben. Just another Just another Ben. We're a club. Yeah, he has beat on Thursdays. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Back behind. Well, welcome to Ben Club here behind the Kmart. <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. Okay, yeah. question number 18. Which Jedi Master commissioned the Kaminoans to grow the Grand Army of the Republic? Was it Depa Bilaba, Kit Fisto, Sifo Dias, or Luminara Unduli? What a question. This is like a very important person that really probably should have been given some screen time at some point. <laughs> How about that? Like like a really important character in terms of the history of the entire galaxy. And I'm, I don't think they're on screen ever. Well, that's unfortunate. It is. Uh, the answer is sifo -Dyas. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Right, He's the one that, who goes though. to the Kaminoans and is like, uh, I'd like to grow an army, please. And they're like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, we, do, you, you got, do you pay? Do you have Apple Pay? They're like, you guys got credits? He's like, we got credits. Like, we got and they're like, cool. Come back in 20 years. And Whoa. Then, that whoa. caused a change up. We got Sokka, <clears throat> Brady Y, Austin H. Man, Boo Gibbs, and Spidey Kenobi. Spidey 66. Kenobi! Big Marvel Star Wars, man. Well, the, we're going to head into Marvel right now, so can Spidey Kenobi stick around? That's I, the question. I have faith. I have faith. Where's Lemons, though? Where's Denise? In the Avengers, what material does Hawkeye retrieve while possessed to stabilize the Tesseract? Is it Vibranium, Ranium, Iridium, or Adamantium? Adamantium. <laughs> adamantium. Adamantium. You gotta get yourself some adamantium you gotta there. Just head right on down to the Kmart. Don't mind those bins out back, Zoe. <laughs> like the, the bins. I thought you said the bins. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the bins? Where are we? I thought we just, no, uh, just like a, like a parade club. of bins out there. So many bins. Uh, man, we're getting a little delirious. Oh, uh, boy. It's been a long week, but we've made week. it, guys. No, the answer is iridium. Oh, not vibranium. I know. You'd think so, but they hadn't quite introduced that yet. No, oh, there we go. There oh. we go. How'd you guys do? There's some change up. Austin H. Man sitting on top. We got Boo Gibbs. We got Brady, Brady Y. Unknown Platypus and Mikami. Mikami. Unknown Platypus. Welcome back. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, actually, we got a super chat. We'll hit this real quick while, okay. we're, while we're looking. Uh, this is from Stray J, who says, Slytherin created the chamber as his own space, but do you think the other founders had their own spaces? Room of requirement, headmaster's office. It does feel like the headmaster's office was Gryffindor's because Absolutely. it's literally a griffin, like, guarding the door. So yeah. it's like, And there's it's like, a griffin-shaped door knocker. It's I'll, a literal griffin door. I like this question, though, because room of requirement definitely feels... Oh, but there's two thoughts here. One, 
Hufflepuffs are great finders. Uh, well, that's true. Maybe not canon. But, Less canon, know. but some in some ways more canon. It feels it feels like there could be something to that being a Ravenclaw mystery, though. It is where the diadem is found. That's true. So that's there's true. that. Uh, they do do that, and you'd think maybe the kitchens is more like. Uh, I think the kitchens would have more to like be the Hufflepuff yeah, area. Yeah, and that I almost even think that's just. <laughs> That's just true. And that's just true. It's maybe yeah. not like a secret space. But, like, obviously, it's hard to know whether or not the headmaster's office was always the headmaster's office if it was not just, like, Gryffindor's office. True. Because that when they started the school, they all would have been headmasters, you know? Right. I doubt they were like, well, one of us should be more important. <laughs> and, and Godric was like, hold on, let me lift up my <laughs> belt, on. friends. Yeah. Okay, I like that question, though. That feels like it could be a video, so I appreciate that. Uh, question 21. Where was Luis when his cousin Ernesto told him about the safe in Hank Pym's basement in Ant-Man? Was it a dance club, a wine tasting, a houseboat, or a cookout? This question is bonkers. Oh There's my gosh. so many qualifiers. This is like, I think this is collectively everyone's favorite joke in all of Marvel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Luis is, like, quietly, like... A fan favorite. Yeah, right? Such a such a well played character. I yes. love it. It's so good. It's so good. Well, I also like the fact that Anna Kana is just randomly in one of these. I scenes. know. You're like, what? It's so unexpected. It's a <laughs> wine tasting. It's a wine tasting. <laughs> I was on a wine tasting. Luis was on a wine taste. That's the hard part to believe. Yeah. Wow. Boo Gibbs though! Up into the front! V the boo Boo the Witch! We are literally five hundred points. From less than 500 points, really, from uh, first to fifth place right wow. now. Last time we had Emma Weasley, now we have Ginny Potter. Hold so up. All sorts of. Do you think it's the same person? Certainly. It's gotta be. Although, do, do, wouldn't they do Hermione Weasley then? But I, I, maybe not. Ginny Potter's fine. Okay. Dizwiz. Ginny Potter, are you Emma Weasley? Let us know in Let the towel section down below. Down Here we below, go. Dizwiz. <clears throat> question 22. Which member of the Black Order did not appear in the MCU? This question is submitted by Agent Krakow. Is it Proxima Midnight, Cull Obsidian, Supergiant, or Corvus Glaive? Ooh. Corvus Lestrange. Hey, I know who Corvus Lestrange is. Hey, me too. We've been doing a lot of Fantastic Beast theories. We have been. Yeah. We have been. It says someone's got uh, the Potter Puppet Pals jingle going on there. Oh. Snape. 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 Severus Snape. Dumbledore! <laughs> I'm so glad you went for it too. Otherwise, I would have been so oh, low on man. that. Woo! Hermione. The correct answer is Super Giant, and you yeah. guys got that. I'm very impressed. Well done. Also, we have a super chat here from Mustang19898. It says, I can't believe I finally reached sixth place. And then we hit Star Wars questions. Oh, no! Man, well, almost on that leaderboard. Almost. This is, you know, you just gotta... Look, if you want to watch Star Wars, it's easy. There's nine movies, like a thousand TV shows, even more books, even more comics, and like four video games. So you'll be caught up in no time. It'll barely take you a minute. It, it'll ba we have also, all, we yeah. got Yogurt's Stranger Younger Sibling... <laughs> Durger? Durger. Way worse marketing. <laughs> no, people, <laughs> yogurt caught on. Durger yeah. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Durger. Poor Durger. And he's like in the same meeting. He's like coming out after yogurt. And he's like, how was the presentation? <laughs> They're like, it was amazing. What are you guys like? Well, I got... I got Durger. <laughs> I got Durger. It's, uh, it's just like yogurt, but brown. Me, me and cheese curds over here. <laughs> cheese curds are amazing. Cheese though. curds is like, I'm going to stop coming to meetings with you. <laughs> All right, moving on. Question 23. Who does Wong fight at the Golden Daggers? Is it Shang-Chi, Abomination, Hulk, or Doctor Strange? Mm. This is like a, have you been watching the videos question? <laughs> this is definitely... Uh, this is definitely something we've been talking about a lot lately. But if we weren't talking about it, I think it would be a very hard question. Yeah, I think so. But if you've been watching the videos, no problem. You got this! Christina Walker pointed out that there are 11 Star Wars movies, not 9. 9 main trilogy movies, guys. Come two, on. 2 Star Wars stories. 2 Star Wars stories. When do you think Amelia Clark's going to show back up? That's the thing, yeah. They just sort of were like, hey, guess what? Darth Maul's alive. See you later. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. spoilers. <laughs> a super important actress. Also not spoilers, though, if you've watched any of the other Expanded Universe stuff. So. Okay, ready? Yeah. We, oh, Ooh, Ginny Potter! Big Star Wars fan. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? 
Question 24, which of the following countries does not border Wakanda? Is it Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda, or Kenya? Boy, how well do you know your real life and fictional African geology? I, geography. Geography. Geology's rocks. Yeah. Which is important to Wakanda. <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah, yes, of course. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Where yeah. do you know about vibranium? <laughs> Come on, guys. No, where where are the right. biggest stores on the planet in yeah. Africa? D African geology. Yeah. Uh, this is this was in geography class in eighth grade, the hardest quiz because I think that there are like fifty four countries in Africa. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a <clears throat> it's a big place. Someone said, "Where in the world it's Carmen San Diego?" Which is now stuck in my head forever. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Wow, oh, that caused McCombie. a big change. Man, it did. I guess people don't know much about Africa. It is a hard quiz, though, as we said. Stojo Durgert. Look at Durgert. He's like, look at me now, yogurt. <laughs> I got trivia. I got I, You were out there in in boardrooms, and I was just, I was at home watching movies. Yep. And look at, look who's, who's the loser now, yogurt. Right, right. Which one, who's made the bigger impact on planet Earth? That's right. Uh, and Klusmos. And nom nom. Nom nom. Which is what you say when you eat dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Oh, man. All right, Harry Potter <laughs> questions. Here we go. In what year is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them set? Is it 1928, 1926, 1925, or 1922? People are a big time dirt. People fans. are into dirt, man. He's just found his calling, you know? He ran out of the food biz. Yeah, and you had a big dairy. <laughs> I mean, at some point you got to. You gotta like when exit. you're when you're the younger sibling to yogurt yeah. and your Durger, <laughs> you gotta make your name. And they are. They are. They're here. <clears throat> I like that Tiger Lover twenty four just said Cho Hot Lips Chang. Yeah, it just said it. Just said it. Just they spelled no, it wrong. No, it's H A W T. Yep. But you know. nineteen twenty six is correct. Also, the same year that Tom Riddle was born. That's not a coincidence, you guys. If you think that that <clears throat> Durger, Durger is in first place, it's happening. Everything's coming together for Durger. And the good news is that Nom Nom is right there with Nom them. Is, I mean, moving Nom on Nom up the right charts. There. They're they're a tag team if I've ever seen one. Wow, wow, Durger and Nom Nom. I hope you guys become real friends in real life. If you're not already sitting in the same room, they are high five in one another. They, they are over a big bowl of Durger. <laughs> Question 27. <coughs> On what holiday did the students go to Hogsmeade and return to find the fat lady's portrait slashed? Was it Easter, Christmas Eve, Halloween, or Valentine's Day? These are mostly big Harry Potter holidays. Jay, that's your mo I think we have the ability to clip, to do uh, YouTube clips where you can clip out favorite little segments of the stream. If somebody so if, wants to do it. If you want to... If you wanna, make clips from your favorite moments of the stream, please do, and share them with us on Twitter. That would be great. I know my reaction to Durgert right now, that was, I mean, I, that was genuine excitement. <laughs> the question is, what, hold on. Are you ready? Guys, Durgert! Come on, Durgert. Come on, Durgert. Durgert falls to Boo Gibbs into second place! Wow, and Nom Nom just, oh. You hate to see it. You hate, you hate to see it. But Baymax is back, as is Ginny Potter, which is maybe not surprising now that we're in the Harry Potter section. True that. True that. Indeed. What is the name of the blood curse that Nagini has? Is it a Malintentus, a, ma <laughs> a Malis Malictus, a Maldivort, or a Maledictus? Wow. It's all just bad spelling. I know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like keyboard blap. Yeah. I just really... Oh, wait, hang on a second. Was Denise in the chat really quick? Uh-oh. Glance down, and <coughs> now that's in my head. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. Do we have more from Denise? Do I was just like when, Denise, I like when Denise shows up. Denise, how are you doing? Denise has is, Denise is got her sights on Durger right now. There's no doubt. Don't we all, though? <laughs> I just can't wait to Everyone, go home and have a delicious story. bowl of Durger. A bowl of Durger. <laughs> it's hot yogurt. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Durger, I'm glad you changed your branding. <laughs> Durger stays in second. I'm just genuinely losing it, y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> Everything is good with the world. Question 29. Which of the following characters does not join Dumbledore's army? Is it Faye Dunbar, Cho Hot Lips Chang, Susan Bones, or Anthony Goldstein? I think I know. I think I know, too. I think I know. 
People are. People oh, there's Denise. Wait, where is Denise? Did she say? If if Durgert is in the chat and can let us know the actual origin story, I would be so curious. We know the origin story, Ben. It's hot yogurt. <laughs> it's hot yogurt. <laughs> Microwavable. <laughs> oh, gosh. The answer is Faye Dunbar. I was a little afraid that people would think that Cho Hot Lips Chang was like a fictional version of Cho Chang, but everyone knows that's the real Cho Chang. They got it. They, they got, got it. it. You're it's aware. The, it's no, it's no, no concerns. Kylie Clausen says, so Sirius broke in to kill Peter on the anniversary of James and Lily's death. Oh, wow. I've never thought about it like that, but that is quite poetic. Man. Sometimes. Sometimes. There's things you didn't realize were happening. What we gleaned. Sturgert is back in first! You'll love to see it. Yes, Sturgert! Well done! Oh, Max UK into the top five as well. I don't like to pick favorites, but Sturgert's mine. <laughs> Did you say favorites? I <laughs> <laughs> don't nah, like to pick favorites. Oh, man. People are going to leave. They're going to be like, these guys are just like, they've lost their marbles. Okay, here we go. What injury did Devil sustain when he fell off the broom in Philosopher's Stone? Was it a dislocated shoulder, a broken hand, a broken wrist, or a twisted ankle? In addition to a bruised ego. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. I don't even think that's true. I, I, I think probably <laughs> it was it was right in keeping with his current ego. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <clears throat> Neville. What a great character, though. Durgert is clutch. People, look. Durgert is Durgert, king. Durgert. I'm sure you got this one right, which means you're probably still in first. Let's see. Carlin Brothers Coffee presents Durgert. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Microwavable yogurt. Microwavable yogurt. <laughs> Durgert Ooh. is indeed Happy Zuko. Someone got it wrong because Happy Zuko moved up into fifth place there. Durgert holds the lead, moving into what is sometimes called the hardest section of the quiz, sometimes. which is The Last Airbender. So the question is, how familiar is Durgert with The Last Airbender? Because they have five questions to hold on to an unbelievable lead and a true underdog story. Uh, Asexual Albert says, tonight's energy is akin to a 2 a.m. sleepover, and I'm here for it. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not even You're a little bit. You're not wrong. Not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited about the fact that Durgert is a full 1,001 points ahead of Happy Zuko. Okay. So, that's so even if they get dead wrong and everyone else is 100% right, they'll stay in the top five. Exactly. At least for one question. Durgert, you got this. Durgert, focus, man. Okay, ready? Focus. Ready? Tell Big Yogurt what's up. Boom, here we go. Avatar, Avatar. The Last Airbender. We're into it now. The question is... When Suki saves Toph from drowning in the Serpent's Pass, who does Toph think saved her? Is it Ying, Aang, Katara, or Sokka? Perfectly answerable question. Kaylee Duck says, we Durgert, we Wingert. <laughs> <laughs> we Durgert, we Wingert. Y'all, that's a Nuzlocke joke. I, I, I feel like you need to name a, 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 a poke Pokemon after Durgert. After Durgert. After Durgert. Well, it, it could be possible. Guys, I cannot wait for you to see. I think it's next Wednesday's episode of the Nuzlocke. Because there is a catch that occurs that I'm so very excited about. It's amazing. The answer is Sokka. How'd we do? Durgert has watched Avatar. That's what I, I mean, It's possible that was a guess. But who's to say? Who's to say? Uh, v, Mod V says, I'd go to an SCB community sleepover after the pandemic settled down. Wouldn't For some all? reason, it feels like it would take place in a castle. It does. Maybe even a convention at a castle. Maybe we could call it CastleCon. CastleCon! Where Wait. we serve burgers. Burger. <laughs> for breakfast, lunch, and not for dinner. Not for, no, it's, it's not really a dinner it's food. It's not a dinner food. You know, it'll get you through the first half of the day, but after that, you want to calm down and your burger didn't take. Mott says Durgert's gonna get me kicked out of my apartment, y'all. <laughs> In Republic City, the police force is primarily composed of waterbenders, metalbenders, lightningbenders, or firebenders. It seems weird to me that the police force would be so selective in their bending choice. It seems like it give you like a big disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. To not just be like spreading the wealth. Hang on here. We got uh, moderator Bob Barna saying I'm bartender at CastleCon. Well, we, you're don't, hired. Don't we know it? You're hired. Don't we know? I would, you know, he's like your classic <clears throat> bar. You could just pour your heart out to old Bob. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got some troubles weighing on you. Head to the, head to the Bob bar. The, the barb. Bob, the Bob barb. Bar. 
There's gotta be some bar Bob Q. I think his last name is Barna, so <laughs> Yeah, you're right. The Bob, Bob Bar. Bar. The Bob Bar. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Dangerous <laughs> Metal Vendors. We are on fire right now. Durger's on fire as well, though. Holding strong in first place. 600-point lead with three questions to go. Can Durger outlast Ma Brady Y and Max UK? Many people say that when eating Durger, it tastes like it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and Durgert is on fire right now, people. <sighs> okay, here we go, guys. <clears throat> that was a real... What is the name of the village Jet tries to flood? Is it Hu Zhang, Sen Lin, Gai Pan, or Makapu? <laughs> Someone says on fire like Chase Sleeve. That's right. It's true. It's true. It's true. It almost caught on fire. It did. <laughs> Oh it's man, <laughs> this is just too good. My theory, Durgert is simply you a guys... typo of Denise. Oh no, <laughs> could it be? What that would mind blow me. That would too. Wow, that would. if Denise was Durgert the whole time, I can't can even you imagine, imagine. I can't imagine what it's like to be Durgert right now. It's got oh pot. dear. Oh Durgert, Durgert, tell me you were one of the three ninety seven. I'm trembling right uh, now. Let's see. Oh! Durgert. Oh! Why did I, I should never have I should never have doubted you. We needed to end. Should we, never have doubted you. We got Jenny Potter in the fourth spot. We got Austin H Man, uh, twenty in the fifth spot. We got a spread. Hold on, how far is Durger to head? A uh, five hundred uh -huh. plus two hundred and fifty. Uh -huh. One hundred fifty. Seven hundred okay, point okay. lead here. A nearly a full questions lead. Nearly, but they can still. Two questions left. What breed is the animal that Sokka names Foo Foo Cuddly Poops? Is it a buffalo yak, a saber tooth moose lion, an ostrich horse, or a snow leopard caribou? It's Foo Foo um. Cuddly Poops. <laughs> Sounds like a flavor of burger. <laughs> Something about like fuzz <laughs> being near. <laughs> Fuzzy yogurt. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> How'd we do, guys? How'd we do? Okay. Durgert! <clears throat> Let me see. Let's see it. Ready? I'm, I'm ready. <clears throat> Durgert! Have they secure Gert? It, I think they might have. I think they might have. <clears throat> I think they have successfully claimed victory. Fin Fan Fool moves into fifth. They must have been hunting around the whole game. Only to appear on the top five. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, right? They have an over a thousand point lead. Over a thousand point lead. It does it doesn't seem that Dur it, it seems think, as though Durgert cannot I, be toppled. It does seem like Durgert has at last toppled Big Dairy and become a trivia champion. I mean Look over, look, look out, older brother look, yogurt. Yeah, because <laughs> look out, your your younger brother Durgert is on. Because food root. cuddly poops. <laughs> this is coming for you. <laughs> Here we go. I'm ready. <laughs> Question thirty six. What episode <laughs> do we first see Lord Ozai's full face? Is it the Avatar and the Fire Lord, the Crossroads of Destiny, the Awakening, or the Guru? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Durgert. Oh man. my gosh, and so is the chat. It is just exploding with support for Durgert, who has nothing left to do but finish his victory lap. Or her, we don't know. Maybe we don't it's know. Denise. It, you never, yeah, you can never be too sure. You can never be too sure. You can never be too sure, Gert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, oh boy. boy. Did, the, the question is, did Durgert get the question right? Okay, guys. Big, big collective, like, deep breath. <gasps> How'd we do? How'd we do, people? In the third spot. We got Jenny, Jenny Potter. Potter. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Max, Max UK. UK. And the trivia round two champion, Durgert! Yes! We knew it. We knew it. Austin 30 eight. out of 30. Not only does Durgert get the top spot, but they finish with a perfect 100 A plus score. That's how you win. That's how you do it. That's you how can't. You win. I mean, you can't. It's you can't outdo that. a perfect score. You cannot. It's impressive that even like <clears throat> even second place missed missed only three, but like that's a big. That's 10 percent. There you go. That you can. Wow. That's that is encouraging to know that in the future you can miss up to three questions and still get on the podium. Indeed. Up Hang to on. four questions. I'm gonna try to go back to full cam. Will it work? Will it work? It seems Hang like maybe on. not. 
Hang on, hang on. Chin cam. There it is. And we're back. And we're back. Wow. Wow. Dirt. Oh. Gert. I feel like we just saw the Super Bowl. I know. Man, I, it, mean, if it, I mean, some people have called this the world's greatest trivia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You I mean, can put it on a side. People tuned in from around the world. <clears throat> Oh, man. And J.W. Pringle with the final Super Chat of the Night says, I, I love a hot cup of Durgert as a midnight snack on April Fool's Day. It's now canon. It must be a thing. I mean, you're not wrong. And Spunky Crunk Babes, one of my faves. I finished 354th place, but that's better than I thought I would. Durgert is the champ. I want to be friends. Wow. Uh, Francis Min with the Super Chat. Been subscribed to the channel for five years. I love your videos, especially Harry Potter and Pixar. And you even inspired me to start watching MCU movies last year. Uh, thanks for this awesome channel. Thank you so much for your support. Francis Min. Uh, Caroline, who says, I was lemons and ended up in 500, or 572nd. So very short-lived leaderboard victory, but love tonight's stream so much. Durgert is king. Durgert is king. Okay, I'm... Oh, no! What is this? Okay, here we go. Are you able to pull results? <coughs> are you looking at... Are you looking at... Okay, so um, in case you are wondering, if you were in the top five, if you can get a screenshot of <coughs> your score and uh, email Jordan, whose email is in the description of the stream right now, uh, she will make sure to coordinate with you to get your top five prizes um, and congratulations to everybody, honestly. And thank you guys all for uh, participating. Uh, it really is just a just a hooting and hollering good time all the it way around. It truly is. I'm right. trying to look at the report and to see how the rest of the rankings shook out. It could be we had too many results. And could the old be. Kahootski just can't, can't As quite... As usual, can't keep up with, the, keep with up. the Carlin scores. Goodness gracious. As it was. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Durgert yeah. has really like made some people's weekends. I There's think. There's no doubt. Uh, what a great way to start. Michaela Settle says, "Hey brothers, I've been a fan since year one and introduced my sister slash family to your channel. We are so stoked and proud of Ariel. Oh my gosh, so are we. Yeah, like big shout out to Ariel who did the artwork uh, for the new uh, trivia night extravaganza <coughs> puzzle that we have available over at CarlinBrothersCoffee.com. It's a thousand piece puzzle." It is honestly, it's really, really cool. There's so many Easter eggs and details packed into this. Uh, just to name a few, we have Swagger in there. We got the Pop Pop. We got Don't Let Voldemort Plan Your Weddings. Never open the door as long as we're talking about year one references. We got the math budget back there. We got also, also, actually, actually, and just all sorts of really cool details from the set that sits behind us. Uh, it's just, it's on, it's really, it's, it's a really lot of fun. fun. It's a lot of fun to put it together. Available um, now at Carlin Brothers Coffee. Dot com. Uh, As is the candle, which almost lit me on fire. I know, yes, yes. So <clears> you, I mean, it won't be the same candle that almost lit Jay on fire, but no. it will smell the same. It'll smell the same as I almost smelt entirely. <laughs> Could you imagine? It wouldn't it be kind of interesting if you were to be lit by a candle that the flames would smell like the candle? That would be interesting. I don't think that's how fire works. It's not how it's fire not, works, yeah. but a, a kid can dream. Yes, and and succeed as seen tonight by Durgert. Uh, someone says, uh, "Is Bob in the puzzle?" Bob, Mr. Bob, Mr. Bob is Mr. Bob, not Bob the bartender, not Bob, not Bob the bartender from <coughs> CastleCon, but Mr. Bob, who is right. Hang on, which way do I go? That way, right there. There is in fact in the puzzle. As is Hedwig. We also have uh, the, we have the squid from the chest oh, eight. Yeah, <laughs> from chest eight. If anybody remembers right that front joke. and center. Front and center. Right. Yeah. <coughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, goodness gracious. Well, I think we're I think we're caught up on everything. <coughs> Are we? Do we see super chats in? Uh, Hang here? on. Let's double check. Let's double check. Yeah, Make sure it. that we're not missing out on anybody. Let's see. Viewer activity. Viewer activity. Hang on. There might have been some at the very. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. We can do a scroll ski. We'll, we'll give that a second to load. Um, do we need to do like a refresh, maybe? maybe I'm afraid that will end uh, our stream. Uh, I think I think we had everything, though. Okay. I, th I, th I feel pretty confident in that. Uh, someone says, was Durger Denise misspelled name? Denise, you're going to have to let us know. You're going to have to let us know. I feel like we would have known. Uh, uh, Mystic says, Versailles, Kentucky has a castle hotel. I'm just saying, so does Lexington. 
We're, or maybe that's the same one. I don't know. Is there a bunch of castles randomly in Kentucky? I don't see why not. Uh, I know when I was last in Lexington, there was a really awesome castle that we have indeed considered for such an event. I know. Hopefully one day, we just got to get past this entire, you know, global pandemic thing, which I'm, I'm I, you know, someday. Someday. It'll be over. We'll put it to work. Right. We'll put it to work. Please. Um... Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to, to tonight's stream. Uh, if you have a moment, if you're interested and want to go and check out uh, any of the new products over at carlinbrotherscoffee.com, you can also start a subscription to coffee. Uh, if you just want to try it for the first time, you get 50% off your first order with a coffee subscription. It's a great way just to see if you like the coffee at all. Um, and otherwise, yeah, we have, of course, the puzzle, the candles. All of the candles have charms inside of them. So as they melt down, you kind of have like a fun surprise hiding at the bottom. Also, if I do say so myself, they all smell just absolutely splendid. They do. Um, I would say the broomstick handle candle is <coughs> my favorite if you're looking for a recommendation. Uh, but otherwise, guys, I think we can sign off for the evening. Yeah, let's 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 end. Let's all let's roll this one more time. You want to run our puzzle? I sizzle? want to run the puzzle sizzle okay. one more time. We'll send it out to you guys one more time before we take off and go. And we're back. Thanks, you guys, again, so much for watching. We will have another trivia stream next month with more fun announcements. New it, new and more exciting stuff on the way. If you guys are a fan of our annual animal mugs, definitely going to want to make sure you're on that stream. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep this eyes year peeled. is going to be awesome. Yeah. They're real, real sharp. Uh, I'm excited to share them with everybody. But otherwise, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for being a part of the community and for being just truly amazing and awesome people. Until next time.